Oh, it opens up in a different window. Take your time. Okay. What's that you playing? That sounds like uh, Zelda. Oh, no. Uh, I just got... I modded... I'm Xenoblade. Oh, my God. So I'm le I just started the game, and I'm level 99. I love Xenoblade. Love that game. Yeah. So... Oh, I didn't know you could hear it. Okay, let me turn down the volume. Because I was just testing to make sure all the saves work. Okay. Let's see. Okay, there we go, right there. Let me, uh, Let me see if this is. The downside is uh, I'm waiting for the emulation for uh, NAND, so that way I can actually get kernel access, so that way I can like clock the CPU, so that way I can actually conserve battery life. Right, right. It's goodness gracious, man. Hey, man, that'll be great. That will be absolutely great. So I'm going to make sure, like, I'm just waiting for a couple more people again. And what we're going to do is I'm going to give you your introduction so that mm -hmm. people know who you are. You know, we're live right now anyway. So just Oh, like yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. Mm. Oh, I don't have YouTube. Up. Let me check. No, I have I have my notes and stuff already written. Sure. So um, what I'm going to say, like everything. Oh, man. Goodness gracious. You, you can be yourself. Like, you know, you don't have to. It's just like if we sitting and talking to each other, Claudia. No, you got it. It's just crazy, man. Like you saw the link I sent you, right? Absolutely. And we're gonna we're definitely <laughs> gonna cover that. We're definitely gonna cover that. Believe me when I tell you. Boy, and it's Sony too. Mm hmm. Man, mm -hmm. you're bringing tears to my eyes, bro. What has this generation come to? Well, see, you know what? You, you know what? Let me let, wait till I get. Um, let me see. Hmm? All right, let me see. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait for that. Because I mean, like, this going to get deep right here. This going to get deep. And when my boy Kenny come in here, it's over. It's over. I might have to calm him down. <laughs> you know, and I have no problems with, like, other gender people. Right. It's just, and, and most of the my friends that are trans. Right. They don't even want to be. It's like, it's like, uh, like the media is doing now, right? Where. And, you know, this is just something where you know about Little House on the Prairie, right? Right. With the girl, the, the writer. Yes. They took her name off because she, it's like, if I write something in my diary, oh, man, white people are the worst or whatever. That's my diary. That's my personal. Exactly. That's my personal You thought. can't use that to take away, like, like uh, what was his name? Was it uh, Einstein? They found right. his diary where he was being racially Everyone is racist. About, Everyone is racist. About Chinese, so now they want to remove his rewards. I'm like, oh come my on, God. really? You know it's becoming a thing where, like, it was a sci-fi film that I saw. I think it was either 1986 or Brazil, one of the two, where, like, you actually get in trouble for this thing called wrong thing. You think the wrong thing, or they find out you may think the wrong thing, you're in trouble. You got to excuse me. My neck has a crook in it because I, I don't know. It's been messed up for, like, a couple of days now. Uh, I have no idea what's going on, but um, yeah. To tell you. It, I'm sorry. It's just like you cannot express how you feel about something. Whatever happened to freedom of speech? I can understand what a person is being abusive, but what freedom happened? To freedom of speech is only good if you're on their side. It's crazy. Absolutely. I gotta send you some YouTube videos of this dude who's Nicaraguan. He's not white. He looks white, I guess, and he was wearing a Make America Great hat. Uh -huh. The Spanish girl, all campus, took it off him and says, "This is this hat represents genocide." What, what are you talking about? Where are you getting that genocide? I mean, but yeah, so that's basically how it is, man. And she went to school. Yeah, that's how it is. So that's the thing. Absolutely unbelievable. While I'm waiting for Mika to get in here, let me send her another um, invite. I've sent. Two. 
It's crazy. I've never, I never thought that I would actually see the day to where like a lot of movies and comic books and sci-fi novels that I've read I, I would actually come to fruition. The only thing I wanted to really come to fruition was like flying cars and shit like that. But like some shit, like honestly, this feels like the making of Minority Report 0.1. You know what I mean? Where like you're, it already starts with the, with the, um, how can I say, the false flagging or the condemning of your thoughts. So if they think you're going to do something bad, or if it's pretty much like, yeah, it's a possibility this guy could do something bad, you get locked up or you get canned or you pretty much are blackballed from everything. We are turning and we are actually regressing as a society. I've never thought it would come to this, but we're, we're becoming so overly sensitive to where, let me see, she said she didn't get the invite as of yet. Hold on, let me send her another. Send me email again without contact in it. Well, that's oh, called that's, that's called triggering. Oh, of course. Look at me, no. funny. Oh, yo, what did you just do, yo? I feel I feel some type of tension between you and I. I'm like, I just looked at you. Yeah, exactly. You know, I was pretty much, um, I was kind of like terminated from a job that I was working at because they said I was overly aggressive or because like when I talk to people, I look them in their eye or when I shake a person's hand, I shake their hand, you know, like that's what we do. The men there would speak like this. They'd be like, and um, we have to go. I'd be like, excuse me, I can't hear you. You know what I mean? It had, they had been so suppressed there to where it got to the point to where they would barely talk or like they wouldn't look people in the eye. They would walk through the hallways like this. Bam. And me, you know, me, when I walk, I walk straight up. You know what I'm saying? I, walk, I mean, it's not like I'm trying to prove anything, but that's how I was raised. Like that's because you're privileged. Exactly. Whenever I saw you, Claudia, you were always straight up. You got big shoulders. I mean, like, that's the way you you are. I was told that I that I, I have a menacing stance. I have like um, I look at people the wrong way. I was like, what do you mean I look at people the wrong way? I look people dead in the face. Yeah, but it's a little bit like uh, intimidating. I was like, what the fuck? You need to wear a dress and you. Yeah, essentially. And you know, like on break time, I would do push-ups out in the parking lot and stuff like that. You know, oh, no, no, no. That is that is too male privilege for you. Too male privilege. You can't do that. You can't be doing things like that. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if this works. I don't see. Now it's her turn. She can't join. <laughs> Crazy. And she was dropping. She was telling me about. Google, I'm supposed to use the connection. The, the, the right. stuff. Oh, okay. Tighten up, Mika, tighten up, Mika, tighten up. Hold on. Now I'm going to have to bring it down on her now. Yeah, you got to drop the band. You got, you got to drop the ammo on her. Here That's we right. go. Yeah, come on, Mika. Come on in, baby. Come on in. Oh, she got it? I'm sending her another one right now. Hopefully this one works. But yeah, today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be covering a couple of topics concerning... Well, I basically, we're going to be talking about San Diego Comic-Con, the movies, the TV shows, the trailers, games, action figures, the whole spiel. And we're going to introduce my good friend right here. Hold on one second. My screen blank now for a second. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Can you, did, did my screen blank out or everything is fine? No, I still see it. Okay. And we're going to talk about my good longtime friend and very talented gentleman, Claudia, Claudia, introduce yourself. Let the people know what you're about, what you do, where you've been. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let them know the whole spiel, bro. Yeah, Claudia, uh, been a Jersey dude for forever. Uh, I, I can't remember when I met Danae. Wow, I don't even know when, but I met him through Rich. Right. Rich and, uh, oh, crap, I can't remember his name, but he still does his own channel um, on Twitter, but other than that, uh, worked on a graphic novel about 10 years ago called mm -hmm. Infects. We pitched it out to, I worked it in my room with another dude. It's just two of us, 350 page book. We did our own. We went to, we went to Comic-Con. We were looking for someone to publish it for us or at least give us something PCB Productions gave us right. their job. 
they didn't have any confidence when they only gave us a one page synopsis. And then we just did the whole thing ourselves. They liked it, they rewrote it to accommodate the art. And then uh, it became a thing. And now it's a digital novel on the Apple platform. Oh. There's a real cult following. Um, they were looking to do a trilogy with it. So they're working on that. Right. But right now we're working with something with, uh, I can't really talk about the right, actor, right. but, but um, we're doing something with somebody else too. You probably like, I mean, you know how they, you know how they said you have an idea. I pretty much have an idea. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just spirits in certain aspects. I'll yeah. just say this. Remember how when Black Panther came out recently, they were like, "Oh, the first black superhero." Right. Well, uh, we all know who was uh, really the first one. Okay. So, um, other than that, traveled uh, Italy, Turkey. Turkey was the place. Uh, my final. Uh, Barcelona and then uh, Japan, where I'm planning to go back, hopefully by the end of this year or early next year. I'll be living there, I don't know, five Perfect. years is what I'm giving myself. Are you thinking about staying there permanently? Uh, give myself five years. I want to visit other countries as well while I'm right. out there once I finish school. Right. Um, do different ventures and whatnot. But yeah, other than that, uh, computer, I can practically do anything if I put my mind to it. Right. Um, I'm not sure what else am I missing. Oh, fighting games. Yeah, uh, yeah, I love fighting games. Um, I don't know if it was you or Rich. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, cross up raging demon. I think I made a lot of people upset. You never caught me with that crap. Never, <laughs> never. bro. You know I was too tight for that, bro. I'm not even gonna brag on it. <laughs> You're good. But you can't catch like I'm not that. good anymore. I haven't played in a while. I no, but you never caught me on nothing like that. Spent, no. Now I've seen you Alex. I think it was dog. Alex's friend. Yeah, I've seen you cross up and catch people like that. Mima. I've seen you catch people in it. Believe me when I tell you. And I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> like, yeah. Because and I would see it, you know what? Because I would always be on the sidelines watching. But I, now I haven't played in a while, uh, Street Fighter. I don't have a lot of people that want to play fighting games. Yeah. Anymore, most of them just locally. Now that with online, you know, I'm not a fan of the online because of the way Street Fighter Five turned up with the uh, the frame rate. The no, not the frame. The frames, the f the fighting frames, where they try to keep it really high, just to accommodate other players with bad latency, and it hurts you if you're really good. It makes it every it dumbed down everything. That's cool. So, absolutely, absolutely. It totally so dumbed yeah. down everything. Because in terms of like uh, really playing the fighting game, like because me, I came from the era of playing fighting games where it was a rock paper scissors thing. Not only that, you had to outthink your opponent. You couldn't just go in on your opponent just rushing them down with the same bread and B and B combo all the time because it just wouldn't work. And really, to be honest, the Alpha series took a lot of that out, especially with the Alpha counters, so on and so forth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You couldn't just run through and just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. Where like now, when I started getting back into fighting games, and I, I think I got back into fighting games, which one came first? No, I got back into fighting games when it came to Street Fighter 4. I think it was Street Fighter 4 I started getting. Well, I never really had left them, but I got back into them with Street Fighter 4. Really? Street Fighter 4? For me, no, yeah. I think, because I stopped consoles after. Yeah, exactly. I don't exactly. do consoles anymore. I stopped consoles after my brother Xbox 360, I would say. Right. I stopped consoles. I haven't done consoles. I think my first, I think it was Xbox One with Soul Calibur. That's when I. Right. Oh, Dreamcast. Oh, my God. That was the last era of good yeah. gaming, if you ask me. I love the Dreamcast. Dreamcast was innovative beyond any other console that was ever created. Beyond any oh, other. Oh, sorry. Saturn with, with Marvel versus Capcom. And yeah, but I think the Dreamcast really was trying to do different things it was completely different bro i mean like you could go from think about the wonderful games that were on the dreamcast the saturn was good power stone dreamcast, power stone then you go on from power stone and you playing zombie revenge and resident, mm, okay. yeah, yeah. Like resident evil cold veronica was on there then they yes. did another version yes. with like they upped the graphics everything was different like to me and when you think about it that was the first one to um into institute online play think about yeah. it yeah, yeah, that was a console that was ahead of its time. 
ahead of his time. Let me try to see if I can um, invite um, Kenny again and um, Mika. For some reason, they're not coming through, and I'm sending them invites. Okay, he said he said he had to restart. So give him a second. Let's try to get him in here so we can get on these topics of Comic Con. It was a lot of good stuff I saw on Comic Con. Yeah, you know, I saw, you went. A lot of no, no, no. I didn't get to go. Didn't go? Not this time. I did not get to go. This my time. friend went. My friend went. So he gave me. He showed me a lot of stuff out there. But but um, the trailer started popping up, and I was like, okay. But I think I I thought. I'm gonna say this. I thought I was comic book heroed out because we had way too many last year. This yeah, year. yeah. Honestly, another thing too. That's another thing I want to say. Not to mean, not 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 to mean to cut you off or anything. No, no, no. It's fine. Um, I, I and I love superheroes. I love comic books. As you can look in the background, I'm I'm nerded out. But okay, is this working at all? I had yes, to restart a couple yes, of times. It is. Yes, it is. Oh, hold on. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. sir. Can hear you. Yes, cool, sir. cool. Jesus okay, fucking Christ! Now finally. we gotta get Mika. Now we gotta get Mika in. Okay, come on, Mika. Mika. Pardon me, I had to restart like two times over. Welcome to the computing age. Everything is restarted. If only I could do that with my life. Couple <laughs> <laughs> of STDs uh, later, I'd have been clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, what was that? Today we're going to cover a couple of topics. We're definitely going to talk about some movie trailers. We're going to talk about uh, right. Diego Comic Con, so on and so forth. Because even though I was not there, there's so much information out there. And again, um, I was um, watching a podcast where this guy said, it's almost at the point you don't even need to go to Comic Con, but just for the experience. Because the, sometimes the internet will put information out there before it's even, before it, sometimes before they get to release it at Comic Con. But I still love the experience at Comic Con. This year I didn't go, but next year I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the New York Comic Con, so I'll be covering that. But right. I definitely want to get you uh, the skinny or the news that I have received through, you know, and again, some of it could be canon, some of it has been proven through video that um this, this is what it is and this is what it's going to be. So I think we're going to start off first. Well, you know what? We got to cover a little bit of news. We got to cover a little bit of news, and it's messed up, man. Your boy, what's his name? Oh, God, the guy that created uh, that created Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, I heard about that. I heard about it, yep. He's in Dang, I wasn't shocked. I was shocked. I wasn't shocked at all. I wasn't shocked I'm just, at all. I'm like, why are you even, I wouldn't shocked. even joke about stuff like that. I thought he really I, did it. The thing is, I, I know for a fact I would be completely unemployable and nobody would hire me if they looked at my social media pass and shit I say, like, on a, on a daily routine basis, driving to work, coming to work and all that. So I don't know what the big deal is. He said this shit, like, what, nine some odd years ago? Water well, under the bridge. Well, yeah, like, if, if – if, yeah, but, I mean, today now, I mean, come on. I mean, we see what's happening. It's it's just the machine trying to. Is the machine man? It's the machine. They're they're, and, and, they're picking names right now. You got. And I think that's clean. that's the kind of the underlying problem is that everyone is is so quick to just say, okay, that's how it is. Let's just let's just let society dictate what everybody says and and, and boo hoo anyone who has any kind of negative thing, e even in a joke. Now, to me, the point of a joke is even if you don't like it, is to make somebody else laugh. So even if some some someone's boohooing about a joke somewhere else someone is laughing about that rape joke that pedophile joke etc and i'm i'm pretty sure when he was joking back then he he's not going around raping kids or whatever yeah they're talking and, and if you look at disney look, look at disney's past dude what songs of the south remember uncle remus yeah it's not no, like they're completely clean no 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 but to, here's why here's why this is where i differ on this situation now i am nowhere near pc if you look at my facebook a lot of my comedy is lowbrow a lot of it is like how can i say deplorable humor but at the same token i put my you're a dirtbag like me yeah, exactly you know what i'm saying but there's just a line I draw when it comes to like pedophilia and children jokes and stuff like True. that. True. I don't think is you had some of those tweets he had up there. They were like um they were just so fucking cringeworthy and just like fucked up and awkward. And don't get me wrong, you know I say some fucked up shit on um on my Facebook and my jokes are dark. Right. I call myself a self-proclaimed comedian. I love to joke around, I love to have fun, I love to make people laugh. But there's a limit. There's a limit. 
I mean, he actually was like putting things up there like, oh, I just watched this movie and I feel like um, having sex with this little boy next to me. <laughs> Jesus. I was, I was like, what the <laughs> fuck, bro? That's, that's a little... <laughs> wow. You know All what? Right. I'm sorry for laughing. All life, right. You the condom first, sir. Yeah, you got to read some of them. Please believe me. I am for free speech. Oh, I'm shit. For free speech, but this motherfucker Horrible. wants this shit. As a matter of fact, I'm going to... um. You guys can continue to like um offer your views on the subject, but I'm gonna look for his tweets and try to get uh what's her name back in here. Right. Okay. And I'm trying to get Mika in here for some reason. She says she started. Maybe it'll work now. And well, um, I'll, I'll say this. My one of my things is um I will always defend anyone going to bat when it comes to defending jokes and and what whatever the hell you say in terms of context. So it's almost I'm I'm I feel pigeonholed just to say hey you know these are these are jokes. That, that, yeah, it, it feels because I, I feel if if you go after one guy, then who then you're gonna go after everybody, you know. If, if this gets gets looked at, then then who's next and what's well, next, you know? Well, we, then we then, what, then what do we start putting a cap on? I mean, it, it's already touch and go these days with making any kind of joke you want. You can you can't really make gay jokes. You can't really make a uh, retarded jokes. You can't really make any jokes that, within a span of let's say five years ago were incredibly acceptable now people look at now you could be vilified even fired for making the slightest gay joke etc and, and to me that's just it, it's unacceptable I, i'm not a big fan of how we're going in society I, I think you should still be able comedy is mean it's brutal it's not yes. silly clowns to me yes, it, it, it's, it's brutality agree. It's, I agree, but there's still a level of like concern or a level that it a, a line that you don't cross. I'm sorry, even in comedy. And don't get me wrong, I have said some of the most deplorable and lowbrow and like gut wrenching jokes. But people with a like a dark sense of humor understand my humor and understand where I'm coming from. No, I understand where you're coming from completely, Kenny. But at the same token, when it comes to children, it's just awful. I mean, like raping children, having sex with children, pedophilia. I find none of that shit funny. And I'm not one of those guys right. or anything like that. You know that. You, My Facebook will keep me from ever attaining a job in certain aspects. All right. Stuff that I well, well, on the flip side of the coin, why would it be acceptable to have, let's say, a drag queen in the classroom telling kindergartners it's okay to 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 lop off your dick and grow up to be some kind of weirdo and that's all right but soon as someone makes any kind of joke about pedophilia or whatever that, why why aren't they the same exact thing is what i'm saying why is it okay for a a, a little a, a creep to go into kindergarten class which i've seen i'm in california we now we have these school books that pretty much have history for these kinds of people. I'm not going to go too much because I'm, I'm going to start ranting and raving and hooping and hollering. That could get me fired. But I'm already seeing how this is becoming integrated into the norm. Now, right. I don't agree you know, with, I don't agree with yeah. you Because I mean, oh, like, I, I've, I've seen a lot of Because me, myself, and I know, you know, I know which one you're talking about. You're talking about that. Did you see that video of the 10 year old that um, identifies himself with being transgender or something like that? That is a yeah, 10 year old man. child. That is completely wrong. Like, why would There's a video of him and his makeup artist. Dig the um, just the body language of both of them. You can't tell me there ain't nothing creepy behind the scenes going between it behind a makeup artist exactly. and a little boy dressing exactly. up like that. It, you you know the sad thing is, it's it, it that's the the biggest issue that I've seen because it's not only just the pedophile things, but you know I talked about it last time with you guys. Uh, with with you, Danae, it's 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 if if it was if it was like like um, uh, I, Kenny, right? Yep. Yeah, it, it's like when he mentioned that if it was a transgender that did this stuff and whatever, no one's gonna say anything. But the issue is is I've seen where we've had if it, if it's a it's if it's a transgender or a female doing that stuff, it, no one says anything. No one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, nope, exactly. But it's it's if double it's, standard. If it's and another man says it, then it becomes an issue. I mean, nine years, 25 years, now we're hearing things, and now we want to complain. Yep. So, yeah, I, I, the topic, though, of pedophilia, yeah, I'm not a fan of joking about that stuff. That's right. the topic. But dark humor, stuff like that, man, Dave Chappelle does that. I mean, that's why, that's why Comedy Central kicked him. He didn't want to wear a dress. Mm -hmm. He's not trying to sell out, and I'm right. mad, mad proud of him. But, hey, guys. I mean, now I, he's under attack by I, Me Too movement. Come on. Can I say something about that whole 
Oh, wait, hold right on, there, hold you on, know. Hold on. Hey, hi, Miss Mika. How are you today? Finally on, god damn it. All right, what you had to do? You, to, you know what? I didn't because last time when I tried to invite you with the contact and your email, it didn't work. But I don't know. Well, we got it to work. I'm glad you're in here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the wonderful and talented Miss Mika. Not to mention we have the lawless mercenary Count Kenny up here. So I mean we're no, just complete scum I am. Uh, I'm just I'm just garbage. You mean hell. <laughs> <laughs> you, mean hell. You, you ever look into the mirror and just, just tell yourself, God, man, I, I hate your stinking guts. <laughs> every trust, morning. Trust me, every day, right? <laughs> Before I go to bed, that's why I, 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 try, I try. I fall asleep like contemplating. Should I just push the knife in further or what? There's so, yes, there's so many that's cuts out here. So many cuts. <laughs> Look at Claudia. He's like, I regret nothing. Oh, I don't. I did nothing. I did nothing. So go ahead, Mika. Um, chime in, baby. Chime in. No, I, I I wanted to James Gunn situation. You know, it's like um the tweets were like um like a certain amount of years ago, but it will there will come a time where you know like everything will come and bite you in the ass. Yeah, it may be all fun and jokes, but you know you got to be careful what you say, especially in this industry. You definitely got to be careful what you say. And now look at him; he's fired. So. Okay. I don't I'm, even know how he could come back from that. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up there was a, there was a um, all right. Remember um, what's his name? Who got canned? I can't remember the dude's name. He got canned for people were making a big deal about you know when Trump said about grabbing the woman by the pussy. Grabbing by the pussy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Grabbing by the pussy. Now now the view <laughs> the view made a big deal about it and they were like chastising any man that said anything or agreed or, or thought it was funny. But yet the same woman, the women on that on that on that thing, sent a tweet of picture of them where uh, I can't remember what actor, what what singer, uh, some singer, and they were they sent a picture and they asked her, um, got milk, looking at her <laughs> at her breast and have grabbing her vagina. I'm like, okay, so you guys can do it. Yeah, yeah. we exactly, do it. Exactly, it's a problem. It's, a double, it's, well, it's, it, it, it's, it's yeah. It's a come double on, standard. Come on. It's a double standard. You know, I get fired, else, I lose my job, but you but don't? Here's the, thing. here's the thing. This is the reason why, in a way, and don't get me wrong, I love James Gunn's films. He He's made films that I absolutely love. He made Slither. He made, um, I wasn't too big on Guardians of the Galaxy and stuff like that, but he's made Slither. Uh, he's made, uh, you'll be surprised if you look at his um, movie, um, his movie history of the he created. He made a lot of good films. But I mean, uh, like stuff is um cringeworthy. He's fucked up. He's fucked up. Well, oh, I, I will say, I will, I will say this. Um, check, it out, check it out. Check it out. Here's one more thing. The whole another thing too. He's the first. One, he's the first one to spearhead this. Oh, I'm moral and I'm with SJW this, and we shouldn't. Men shouldn't talk like this. Men shouldn't talk like that. But yeah, you're a fucking pedophile. So now you know what? Yeah. So now you gonna get it. You gonna get it. No, he's one of those guys that spearhead. Oh. And, then are horrible people, and you shouldn't say this. You shouldn't say that, and shouldn't. Oh, now he's getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's one of those. He's one of those. And wow. Again, and again, no offense to anybody that's SJW, whatever the case may be, but you got to call a spade a spade. What's no, very offensive if you're SJW. Yeah. What's good for the good for Everything's you. offensive if you're an SJW. Are you don't kidding? Don't say no those offense to SJWs. Their no. job is to take away your rights, man. So don't exactly. even say that. Exactly. They don't care about numbers. I don't even think they care about if anything is whatever. For the male. It's all about the emasculation of the male and pretty much feminizing the males that are left. It's a it's a demonization and a demasculation. I think they they, they like portraying now. That's Anything that seems super masculine is going to be looked at as wrong. If if you look at what, if you, if you look at even yes. video game design, how they do characters now, you're losing the more muscular, masculine kind of uh, stereotype look that we used to have with the Contra going all the way to Gears of War and everything, right. where you had these these scarred up, just just you know, they look like soldiers. Now you have these. For for the quote unquote term reality, you have pudgy looking dudes and 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 you know just 
taco body ass individuals who look like they couldn't do anything but these are your main characters in games and i mean japan has been doing it with you know if you look at final fantasy all their main guys have this girly kind of thing going right and it's okay. it's almost like we're gonna adopt that whole i can't find a better term than soy boy like a whole soy boy aesthetic is just yeah, starting but, to take but hold japan, but japan doesn't Unless you watch some of the 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 I can't remember what it's called, but the yaoi stuff that's yeah. that's that's catered to a certain audience. Exactly. Right. But but exactly. but the, but yeah, that that just like sound Final nasty, Fantasy. don't it? Yeah. No, what what is yeah, that? But, is, is, is yaoi the name or the noise they make when something happens to them? No, just sound yaoi. gross. <laughs> yaoi. <laughs> yeah. It's the it's the it's the genre or whatever. Like they have like the girl <sighs> stuff, the boy love stuff. But that's that's for a certain audience. But uh, when you look at when you look at Final Fantasy and these action packed stuff, these games like that, they're still masculine. They're very, very masculine. Which is which is see, like they don't even tolerate this crazy stuff that's happening here. And they don't tolerate that. And they don't they find it very confusing. Even the women right. over there are like, they don't understand. They rather they want a man to protect them. But that's that's not appropriate here, apparently, because like for example, um, I like Roseanne. Obviously, she got fired, right? Because mm -hmm. she said some stupid comment. Whether it was whatever, I don't care. But because, she, but because she's a conservative, that's why she got canned, not because she was a woman. Right. But then when you have another woman who does the same thing she does, you know, or or, or heck, the YouTube shooting. What happened to that story? Nobody remembers it, right? With the woman, it swept swept right under the rug, man. She was a leftist. She was she she she, she loved. She was a Muslim, movie. yeah. And she was all this. She went with a handgun, so it's not the same. I don't care. I mean, that's stupid. But we see that, and and that's the problem. Where where where, like all these other societies. I mean, China got it right. I'm I'm sorry to say, China got it right. That's why they they didn't want Star Wars to be their movie. Good. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, like, you know, right here, guys, I'm just going to show you a little bit of what he put up there. And sure. see, the reason why I chose this story is because I've watched James Gunn. And again, the thing about it is James Gunn has a very good movie. He's had a very good, he has an extensive profile in terms of like the movies he's created. He made Guardians of the Galaxy 1, one and 2. He was slated for 3. He made, he made Super, which was an indie film that I absolutely love. He made Slither. He made Dawn of the Dead, the remake in 2004. I absolutely love. He made the Belco experiment. I love that. He Dawn of the Dead, the one with Jack. Uh, Jack yeah, Shatter. the Bing Rains and so on and so forth. Oh, that's a great yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, that's, that's a great movie. He made some yeah. fantastic films. I mean, like his filmography is very, very mm. good. It's very the good. Is, Dawn of the Dead was amazing. I yeah, it. absolutely. But at the same token, I mean, like he, he man. <laughs> Bro, bottom line, yo, whether he said what he said, I bet you if he was a woman, ain't nobody, nothing's going to happen. Oh, no, but it doesn't end there. So now his his fans, you know, his fans be able to believe that he should still keep his job. He should still keep his job. But now, mind you, Roseanne got kicked off for making a joke about a lot, like a racist joke or whatever the case may be. No, she, and, that dude, like, uh, she said that conservative. She said that, that woman was a part of the she, which she was. She was part of the Clinton thing about the Brotherhood of Islam. I mean, yeah, know, the, the Muslim. Yeah, yeah the Muslim so I don't care. She was right. He's she wasn't raised. Islamophobia is not racist. Right. <laughs> People need to stop with that. It's not racist. Exactly. So basically, I'm gonna show you guys right here some of the tweets that my boy Mr. Gunn put up there. Okay. So here we go. Mm -hmm. we, have, we have this one right here that says, uh, what is he saying? Oh, I like when little boys touch me in my silly place. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, yes. Now you know. Wait, 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 wait. That's I'm almost that's almost like what? Are you are you joking or you can't really say it's a joke anymore? How no. how's that a joke? That's like a comment he's making. That's, what? That's not even funny. <laughs> yeah, it's not a joke. Where's the punchline at, motherfucker? That's just a comment he's making. <laughs> no, the punchline is. Uh, oh. Then he has another one here. Photo shoot with Amia, Sale, whatever, Melissa Pizza, trying to maintain a semi chub so that I'll look impressive in these photos. Oh my god! That, now that girl is twelve years old. Was twelve years old? 12 good years lord! At the time. That's crazy. <laughs> semi chub, huh? Yeah, the Hardy Boys <laughs> when Uncle Bernie fists me. <laughs> oh my Wait, what? Yeah, Kenny, this, the, this shit is rough. The, 
Rough. <sighs> Spindlewolf, the Expendables was so manly, I fucked the shit out of the little pussy boy next to me. The boy. Hey, that, that, <laughs> well, well, that, that, right, that's something I said. That, that is kind of funny right there. I'll give him that one. <laughs> but man, the shit goes on. At least, like, his shit is a recurring pattern. I'd fuck the pussy boy next to me because yeah. it was so manly. Good lord. All <laughs> right, so here's another one. My new film. What's he doing? Blues, What's he doing with himself? Off is illegal, and one high school kid jerks off in front of the others to show how fun it is. All right, another one. Uh, this may be the plant version of adopting a damaged 12 year old girl who steals your money and accuses you of molesting her. This it just oh, goes so I, I can understand throwing out a few pedophile jokes, no, but, but if you do a constant string, it becomes a red flag. Like, dude, is that what yeah, the fuck is you doing now? They're just comments. Yeah, at this point, rough. as much as I love <laughs> What is he doing? I love James Gunn. Because see, like, one thing for me, um, issues of molestation, rape, and pedophilia are very sensitive to me. I mean, I don't, I, I can't, even when I was a kid, I couldn't handle scenes of rape in, like, movies or whatever the case may be. For some reason, I think rape is one of the worst crimes ever. I think it's worse than murder, and that's just my opinion. It is. It's equal to murder, first-degree murder. I think it's, I think it's oh, murder Lord. because you actually leave that person alive to suffer. And you have altered that individual forever. Trust me when I tell you. And they either so, become a victim, they either become a victim, or they victimize other people. Here is here is the uh, the messed up uh, fallout of all this is that you start to look at his movies like Guardians of the Galaxy. Are these bait movies he's producing exactly. so he can lure kids in? I mean, what is, what is he doing here? <laughs> Jesus. Fuck. Exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. There's nothing. There's nothing when Good I. Lord James Gunn, and it's a porno name too. If if if, if you're gonna be a porno dude, that's a pornoish name, James Gunn. James Gunn. <laughs> James Gunn starts in. Oh, Marvel. he would come up with something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what? I don't want to read no more what this guy has to offer unless you guys still want to read it. But uh, I, I had enough of him. That's enough. No, I, I, I read all the tweets. I've um, I've read enough. Well, I'm that's a bit excessive enough. with those tweets, though. I mean, one last I mean, one. One last I one. Can, one. I, I, see, I, I see. He made a Nambla. He made a Nambla like he was at a, a Nambla meeting. Tweet. Huh? Yeah. That's, that's pretty. That's pretty no, there. Yeah, Eagle snatches. <laughs> I'm like, bro. He says, "Eagle snatches kid is what I call when I get lucky." I said, "You fucking oh, boy, gracious fucking man. piece of shit." Come hey, on. he he reminds me. I, I'm I'm a I'm a real big Opie and Anthony fan, and Jim Norton used to do a character called Uncle Paul, who was a pedophile. Right. And he he would do like little one-liners, like little pedo jokes. Everything this fool saying sounds like Uncle Paul lines. This man is just a a, a child predator making movies. <laughs> that's terrible. Yeah, that's essentially what he is. That's Good lord. Is. Because you don't make those many jokes, even over. If you look at my if you look at my history of Twitter and of Facebook. Yes, I say some vulgar comedy, but none of that shit ever entails a child or rape or anything like that. Most of my jokes entail me being the source of the comedy. It's not like um, I'm basically like, oh, yeah, today I just went and shit it on a kid and licked it off. Like, what the That's fuck? awful. Like, what the fuck? You'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> shit, shit it on a kid yeah. and licked it off? That's... Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Is no, oh, dude, you're a party no. animal. Yeah, like, but no, Kenny, when you really dig deep into this guy's... um. This guy's tweets and shit like that. And see, the reason why I started being on the fence about um, James Gunn is the stance that he takes. You understand what I'm saying? He goes with he goes with whatever's pop popular or whatever is going to make him money. And I get it. I get it. You got to make your fucking money. But mm -hmm. don't shit on the people that are pretty much like help supporting you and making your brand. Like he'll, you'll see, like people will come on there and be like, um, like it was some situation, like when the situation happened with uh Roseanne, he was the first one to chime in. Oh, hmm. you not be talking this, that, and the other, but yeah, you over here talking about fucking little kids and shit like that. That's all right, though, right? All right, get the fuck out of here, bro. Uh, maybe, he forgot, maybe, maybe he no. forgot his tweets and he's just trying to conform to the to the narrative to this in this era right now. Of course, maybe he, he forgot those tweets yeah, because he's not trying to get his job taken away. I mean, come on, look what's happening to everybody. Look, look, I mean, come on. Henry Cavill, Superman, is now being accused of being gay because he doesn't want to. He feels that he, if he flirts with a woman, right? I mean, I'm gonna be probably okay. Sure. Okay, all right. I, I want. I really want to say something about this because I I read about the whole story. And I kind of. I, I really do feel bad for Henry Cavill. I really do. Yes, yeah, because um, I do. I definitely do. 
this whole Me Too movement has gone absolutely bonkers. And I, I kind of um, understand how men feel like, dang, it's like we can't even go up and holler at a woman every, anymore because if we do, like, oh, Me Too, Me Too. Like, why are you trying to holler at me? Oh, he's making sexual events. To I blame feminism for everything. Fuck feminism. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. It wouldn't be wrong. Shout would out. not be wrong. Let me give a shout out to my man over here, Apple Vipers. Apple Vipers, how are you, brother? Good to see you, man. Join in the festivities. Good to see you. But yeah, getting back to what you were saying, Mika, or or Kenny. Um. Martin. Oh no, I was talking about how men, like men, ain't even gonna be trying to holler at women anymore. Because... They're not. They're not. They're not. You're gonna be seeing men buy more because... hookers. Plain and simple. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that's making it, and it's making it really bad for the women that's looking. You're gonna be seeing them put cameras up in the fucking rooms and be like, "Look, <sighs> this is that and the other with you." Okay, all right, let's rock. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to eros.com. It's making it, it's making it really, really bad for the women that are looking for a husband. Yep. Fucking feminism. Absolutely. 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 So what happens is, is that yeah, you know, hoeing is going to prosper. <laughs> what, what hoeing shall prosper. Yes, you're going to see an influx of influx of um, single women. You're going to see a massive influx of single women that are going to become desperate. And you're going to see a bunch of men grabbing women from other countries and stuff like that, if not exiting to it or saving up their chips so that they can go over there. Well, my friend is moving possible. out of the country. He's in uh, the military. One What's of my it? friends is in the military, and uh, he's back in the states. Uh -huh. But he's married. He married a, a girl abroad because he's been there for like ten years. Mm. Right. But he's planning to go back because he doesn't want to stay. He came back. He's like, man, I feel like because he, he was he was upset. Like I'm I'm fighting for this. It's crazy. I'm it's fighting crazy. for this. He's crazy. like, nah. Mm. He's it's out. He's it's going crazy. abroad. Anything that defines being a man, that defines being a man, is completely vilified. Plain and simple. Cause see, you gotta understand. I was raised, even though I was raised by a predominant in my family. My uncles were Vietnam vets, and so on and so forth. One was a Green Beret, all that stuff. So I mean, like I had male influence there. And honestly, but um, cartoons and seeing certain cartoon characters, which is what they're doing now, they're feminizing and like softening up all the cartoons and everything like that. Is what made me want to lift weights, made me want to learn martial arts, so on and so forth. You know what I mean? So I mean. It's, it's, it's crazy. I don't see I don't see a prosperous future with with women and women controlling society because men build things, men fight wars. You understand what I'm saying? Men are the ones who are the ones who are getting out there. Have you heard though that that the Army Rangers recently had to lower test requirements so they can have females fight on the field now? No, so now. Yeah, I said Army Rangers now have have had their test requirements lowered so that they can allow females to pass the tests. Like I think there was like a there was a couple females uh, I think a, a year or two ago who failed four or five times and they kept failing. But in order to meet the quota, they eventually lowered. I think it was a pull up test or something they had to get rid of or lower the number they had to do. So now that the, the, uh, the requirements are actually lower to become an Army Ranger or something. It was well, either Ranger or Steel or something. They want equality. They should be able to do it. Exactly. 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 Yeah. Exactly. They want equality. You know, when, I right? up, when I was coming yeah. up, you didn't get. You didn't just win. You had to. You mm -hmm. had to train to win. You had to learn to win. You had to suffer through it and learn how to become the best or near the best. And you were still never the best. You well, understand what I'm saying? I mean, it's it's, yeah, it's fighting elite it's was the term we used to have, right? Exactly. Now we don't have a fighting. We, we can't have exactly. an elite force. We're removing the, the term elite from the force now, so now our special forces are going to be filled with averages since the test become pretty much everyone can pass, I, mean, I guess. I think that's ridiculous. Right. It's crazy. You heard, you heard what happened with tennis, right? Where um, one, of the, one, of the, one of the great female tennis players from back in the day was complaining that tennis, women tennis, like people watch men tennis. They have the higher reviews, Wimbledon, they're they, they're most sought out and they work harder. They play six sets, if I'm not mistaken. Right. They play longer. Right. Women only play three. In three, and 
yeah, we have Serena Williams and they're great, but they don't get the same amount of TV time. So they're saying that, but they get paid the same amount as men, but they don't play as long as men. So now what they're trying to do is lessen the men's time. So that way it's equal. It makes it fair. Because, and um, and they're now they're trying to broadcast both of them. Like if you have watched Wimbledon this year, they had them on dual split screens on your TV. So that way you can watch the women play the same. So they can get equal time because great. it's not fair for the women to not get stuff. And as far as the draft, you know, they want to implement the draft now, right? They want to make women be able to be drafted, but they don't want that. But they want equality. I mean, come on, you got to have what we have. We die too. Yeah, and, and, and that's the part that I don't get. Like everything is double standard, like, oh, equality, equality. But like when it comes to some certain shit, y'all like, oh no, we don't want that. I'm a woman. We for my, my species. We need more Al Bundy's. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Word. Word. And believe me when I tell you, and you know, I'm about to get my no man shirt. Then and, and see, that everybody on this panel right now is no considered a misogynist or like a um a woman hater and so on and so forth. Yes. This is why I try to make sure I have a diverse diverse crowd, not only of just men, but women as well. And no, we don't always agree on here, so on and so forth. But at the same same token, we have Mika here. Sometimes we'll have Miss Polo on here. We'll have Super, Super Nintendo um, Sarah on here. And everybody offers a different view. So you can't just say like, oh, it's a me, it's a he-man woman hating club. Well, no, it's just Danae, based no, this, 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 Danae, are you alpha this male or beta male? Huh? Are you an alpha male or beta male, Danae? I'm male. I'm male. I'm oh, you're male, then yeah, you're already lost. You're a misogynist right there. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, you're this, lost. This, I don't even know why we even argue. Hey, 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 peek this. Have you guys, any, has, does anyone like Vice's page on Facebook? If you take a look at what they post on a daily basis, oh, it's no, some form of a mask. All they post now is emasculation articles. They posted last week an article entitled, how to have oral sex with a post-op transvestite? Basically, how to oh, suck dick. God. And then, and then another article previous to that was, "Hey males, it's time to pee sitting down." The other one previous to that was something along the lines of, of how it's not gay to date a tranny. So Vice is definitely putting some kind of weirdo gender. And I loved Vice when they were popping. I still watch the channel on TV, but now. Yeah, Vice used to have some hardcore gut wrenching like not bold, anymore. Stories, not like, no, no, nah, man, not anymore. I the last, the, the last great story they had was the Colombian. Um, you guys ever see the Colombian donkey uh, screwing story where all the young men in the village were having sex with donkeys to become men? That's the last great story they did. It's, it's still on YouTube. <laughs> oh my god, that's, I don't know if that's yeah. a great story, but okay. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's, 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 <laughs> I remember, um, I remember they did something with the guy who created McAfee. The McAfee software, they did something with him. And that was the, the, the last, the last vice I saw where that turned me off on them was where they had, um, where black women were leaving. They wanted to leave America because they felt oppressed because the white people, whatever. Right. And so they went to a retreat in, in some third world uh, South American country, which was really, uh, you know, baffling. So I started watching it more. And then they're talking about the resort that they were staying. They spent $2,000, white owned resort. And I'm like, okay, why would you go there? And then they never once talked about where's the black men? Where are they? Why are you eliminating them? Out? What, what happened to them? I, I have yet to see a black man but see, this is the thing that gets oppress, me. Uh, oppress their women. I have yet to see that, so I don't know why black, black women are even black men. Be black men don't oppress their women. Black men let black black women do what the hell they want to do. Yeah, That's Spanish, whatever. Running. I've never seen. That. They're running amok now. That's the reason why they're doing what they want to do now, because they've been like, you can't check them. You can't tell them when they're doing something right or wrong. Even white people don't want to check black women. Trust me when I tell you, they don't want to say shit to them because they're scared of the backlash that they're gonna get. So this is the thing that gets me. So it's okay for, as you were saying, the black women to retreat and try to find other, other ethnicities to integrate with, so on and so forth. It's perfectly fine. In fact, it's cheered upon. 
But then when a black man dates out of his race, or he dates a white woman, oh, no, he's a so disaster. So forth, oh, this, that, and the other, so on and so forth. They were actually going to, they were talking about boycotting, what's his name? The guy that played Killmonger. The guy that played Killmonger. Oh, really? Oh, Apollo Creed's son. Yeah, yeah. Why? They, they were talking about boycotting all his films because he was caught dating or hanging out with a white woman. Who okay. cares? What? Wait, wait, time, yeah, out, but you- time out, time out, time out. That story right there, like, okay, he was in Italy when it happened. There's not really a lot of black women in Italy, so why are people getting mad over that? And then on top of that, the the um the topic that they put it talking about, oh, uh, Michael B. Jordan has a party with all white girls, no black women allowed. There is no black women in Italy. Not only so, that, not only that, not only that, but see, it's clickbait. Yeah, this makes no, no damn no, sense no, no, anymore. No, no, no. It's ridiculous. No, it it's not clickbait. It's, it wasn't it's, clickbait. It's, it's, it's proving my point that it's not just white men that are on. Oh there. wow! It's, no, it, it's not, it, and it wasn't it's clickbait. Men. Trust me when I tell you. It's men. I Genuine was hit with this nonsense where he. Yep. Was, this uh, I heard, heard about that, him, and he was like, "That was stupid." And and then now he's under fire. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's see now they want you to they want now they want you to kiss other men, man. That's just the ridiculous thing about it. Like it, it and they want you to call a tranny a woman. I, I'm sorry, but I can't call that a woman because that's not a woman. It's not, a, not, a, here. not a woman. It's not a woman. It's not a woman. Plain and simple. I will call it, I will call it it or either I will call um call it um Shim no, Shim. You know, I'll just call it by his name, but I can't oh, sure. You got the wrong pronouns, Danae. You gotta get the right pronouns, bro. Yeah. That's 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 like an assault. That's like uh, uh, I don't care. Man, I don't care. I don't care. It is what it is. Yeah. And see, you know what? Not and you know we're gonna leave on this subject after this. So it's, yeah. because like it's you forgetting all about the Comic Con, the, the good stuff. The <laughs> <laughs> We're hanging with the trannies too long. Yeah, we get mad. We get mad. So look. Uh. So with that being said, with me just giving an example of how like it's okay to pretty much um how can i say it's okay to have um you know have black women dating outside their race it's pretty much cheered upon and so on and so forth but then like, but then like on the flip side when a black man does it oh man he's on him that white woman gonna take all your money and this that and the other but then when you take somebody like serena williams who has a white who has a white husband that has an interracial baby oh the baby gonna have such good hair it's gonna be so pretty and this that kind of ain't no backlash ain't no boycotts no nothing you feel no me? no wait 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 i kind of dealt with vice versa because like there was this guy there's this guy that i know great friends with all right. he does is date white women but when he see me out with a friend who's white i'm not even dating him with a friend who's white He's like, oh, what you doing with that white person for? Like, you're not supposed to be with white people. I'm like, I did it more so out of my race than inside of my race. A different culture. Like, oh, I'm my motherfucking culture. back is killing me. I grew up multiculturally. Like, my family is heavily mixed. Like, you'll see me black as hell, and you see my sister light as fuck. My other cousin be like white and all that other shit. That's the way it is. That's the way I was raised. So I had, I, I really don't know anything about color myself i go for character and yeah i mean sad to say most of the women that were ever attracted to me were of like usually of a different ethnic background most black women they don't like me. they cannot stand my ass for some apparent reason that's a shame and i think sisters are beautiful i think i think sisters are beautiful i absolutely love them but at the same token i mean you know I, you, you like what you like you know what i mean but yeah. um you know that's enough of that topic. Next, we're gonna get on the um, the trailer for Shazam. Did anybody happen to see it? Yeah, I yes. saw it. Yes, and I find Shazam the DC equivalent to Ant Man uh, because of, of the um, comedic notes. I thought so. That's what it felt like to me. Yeah, but Shazam, yeah, but honestly, in the comic book. Shazam has always been a guy that a kid in a grown a man. Big, body. Yeah, man, baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's, trying, he's essentially that's what that's what his weakness is. Essentially, that's what his weakness is. Maturity. My that's brother said the same thing too. Really? He was like, oh, it's too comedic for him. But I told him that, you know, he's he's a he's still a kid. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I mean, because like you'll find out, like, if you read the comic book, sometimes the wisdom of Solomon was not would not work on him. 
Cause like you, I think he has the power of, he has, he has the power of many different um, guys. And mm-hmm. like the wisdom of Solomon wouldn't always kick in with him. You know what I mean? So, I mean, like, I think the Shazam movie, to me, the Shazam movie looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait for it to come out. I'm, I definitely gonna see it. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they put Black Adam in it, but I highly doubt it. I know. They said he wasn't going to be in it. Uh, I, yeah. I, I heard it was, right? Yeah, because I remember when he was going to be the Rock this. or something. Yeah, the Rock is going to be Black Adam. I think Black, I think the Rock would be a perfect Black Adam. I a agree. Perfect Black Adam. Yes. He has, yes. Yes. Because Black Adam has that kind of like olive complexion that um that the Rock yeah, has. be Egyptian. Exactly. Yeah. I think he would. I think he would be a perfect Black Adam. And 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 for those that really don't know too much of. Um, Shazam, if you watch the Justice League animation uh-huh. where they were fighting Darkseid, you can see how he was just so kitty where he he just he was like in his puberty or whatever, like just right, right. there, and he was checking out Wonder Woman and whatever. He was just doing some dumb stuff, like I'm gonna do this. Okay guys, I'm gonna lead and he just you can tell that's Shazam. So he's he's light, but he's just OP, he's powerful. Right, he, he is. doesn't even know he's it. Here. The only thing, the only weakness he has is if He's he says smart. the name Shazam, and it's honestly that's his, how Superman beat him. He tricked yeah, him into saying it. Immaturity is his own weakness. He's mm-hmm. not mature, and that's the reason why a lot of he's not mature and he's not that experienced. But sometimes the gods will give him certain knowledge and certain like they. I think it's because uh, I was reading one book where Solomon is the one god that he has a problem that has a problem with like um him being Shazam. And so he won't bestow the knowledge upon him unless he necessarily feel like, you know what, let me just help him out a second. But other than that, like, I've always loved Shazam more than Superman. Shazam, I guess it's because it's a 70s thing. And I grew up watching a cheesy TV show where, like, it was a Shazam Corp. Like, it was a Shazam. It was a bunch of different ones. Like, the family members were Shazams and stuff like that. I've always loved Shazam. Shazam has always been my favorite. But um, I don't know. Why is Teddy inviting me to chat right now? You see, I'm doing the show. Decline. I'm not disappointed with the Shazam trip. Me neither. Me neither. I think it's doing. I it's think like it's a, doing, looks you know, fun. What I'm try to do is try to show some of it. Yeah. Right. I just, I just, I, I, I'm, I, I, the comedy so far, I think is, is not like, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe it's a thing that I have with Disney. I don't know. It's just Disney's just been. They just, I don't know. I mean, they're just. Uh, I think I think Disney's comedy seems too damn forced for my taste. Like every time I see a Disney movie, it seems like you're almost expecting a like it's, a forced in joke it's to not appear. Funny anymore to me? I feel as though it's like um, I feel as though it's like forced, like cringe. I, I'm waiting for the bad pedo joke or the bad inappropriate like sex over sexual joke and stuff like that. Because Disney has become like the weird uncle to me. You understand what I'm saying? That's a good analogy. Yeah, That's a good. Disney has become like the weird uncle to me in certain aspects. And you know what? You know, before we get on that topic of Disney here, we, let's just look at this trailer real quick. Of the movie. <clears throat> I can't take care of myself. Oh, Jesus. Oh, It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It does, yeah. Let me know what you, Kenny. Let me know what you think of the costume. I'll tell you what. It looks good. It looks good in motion. When you first saw the pictures, or when it, when the first pictures were first leaked, I thought they were pretty bad. But once right, the costumes right. in motion, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Once, I didn't once any- After Effects and everything hit, it's good. Yeah, I like this suit too. 
it's just something about that lightning bolt. I'm, I guess it's black. It's something with a black like me being a black man. I love that lightning bolt. <laughs> Speedo. I like how they kept the hood from the um me from too. the injustice games. Yep. Kind of have that. Yeah. He has yeah. that hood going. I'm, I'm glad they gave him that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, do we know what what universe he's from? Like which 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 um uh, which lore they're going with? I think the um Earth two. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> wow, he did the Fortnite. Goodness gracious. Oof. That was really cool. I thought that was funny. Yeah. That was funny. Yeah. Your phone charge. Your phone charge. <laughs> that was. Uh-huh. <laughs> I like the airport. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like it. Yeah, he's so kid, man. That this is I was like, wow, this is really good. Oh hey, what's up? I'm a superhero. <laughs> it's like, what's up? I'm a superhero. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like this. I think I'm gonna like this. Mm. I'm gonna give it a try. I definitely gotta give it a try. Yeah. I'm a big Shazam fan. Anybody that knows me knows I love Shazam. Absolutely love Shazam. Shazam has always been my all-time favorite. Over Superman, I will take Shazam any fucking day. I love Shazam. That's because Superman can't deal with magic. Don't even try it. That's yeah, awesome. yeah. Well, I mean, like, you know, I don't know. It's just something about maybe because I was highly influenced as a child. Because, I, would, like I said before, I grew up in the 70s and shit like that, 70s, 80s. And I remember watching the Shazam show and, like, it's that lightning bolt. I don't know what it is. If you, I just like Flash. I love anybody with a lightning bolt on their chest. It's just something about a lightning bolt that just drives me nuts. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I correct, don't know. Me, correct, me, correct me if I'm wrong, but was it like Shazam part of the Super Justice League? No, he wasn't part of the Super Friends. Because oh, they, no, oh, no, no. Okay. He was I caught, thought he was. He was caught up in court. I don't know where yeah. I got that from. No, he was caught up in court during the time when we were growing up. He would never be shown on the Super Friends, even though he was in the ah. DC universe. Or I would say, like for a good like fifteen years, he was kind of like in limbo a little bit because it was, yeah. it was just because of the similarities between him and Superman. And like the creator of uh, Shazam and the creator of Superman were like going and going back and forth with each other. So it was like, <laughs> good um, old cat fight. I yeah. love it. <laughs> it wasn't until later on in the night. It was. It wasn't until like later on, when uh, Justice Lee came on TV, like Cartoon Network, that they started implementing him and like the cartoon series and into Justice League and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But no, I've cool. always loved what's the name. All right. So I mean, like, any closing thoughts on the um, Shazam trailer? Like it or not? What you think? I liked it. I think. I'm not a DC fan, but I think the movie looks enjoyable. I'll give it a shot. Yeah. What do you think, um, Mercenary Kenny? Hey, it looks fun. I, I'll get doped up and watch it. <laughs> the, the problem with DC, I think, because I think DC's main problem is is they try to they try too hard to lean into like these dark kind of tones, but they want to do light hearted things at the same time. Right. So this is pretty much they don't have to lean into anything dark with this, so they can actually kind of cut up more with this one. So it's pretty decent. Right. 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 Hmm. So you know what, the next one. No, go ahead. What's your what's what's your um take, Claudy? And Shazam? Yeah. I, when I saw like when I, I when I first saw the trailer pop up, I, I was I'm like, okay, let me see what they're gonna do. But I was I was open because I didn't know what they were gonna go with with Shazam. Um and when I saw <laughs> that with the hood and i was like wait is that justice league i don't know if that was the injustice version in that in the because you know we they did so many reboots of their universe it's ridiculous but yeah i was i was impressed with it. i liked it but i guess i was very cynical because i was looking for you know trends like you know saw stuff i was just not happy with and i think that's the platform so that's what was worrying me but i, I was okay with it i'm like i like it i'm gonna watch it Oh. And I, I, I was super hero, heroed out last year. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I agree with way you. Way too much comic books, and I was getting annoyed with it. But now right. I'm like, wow. And I'm a fan of DC more so than Marvel. I'm going to say it. What? That's right. 
Oh, Marvel Shahid. is just too kitty for me, man. I don't know why. It's like their humor <laughs> is is not even for me. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. When you want like some hardcore dark stories, man, go with why. DC. DC is having some dark stories. It's not even for me. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. When you want like some hardcore, it's there we go. <laughs> Yeah, I had a echo. If, if you've never um if you have <clears throat> never read any good DC books, because their books are deep. Like me myself, I enjoyed the new 52 because they were very, very dark stories. Yeah. Swamp Thing, the Swamp Thing books were brutal. Um Red Um, what's that? Oh God, what's his name? Uh Red Hood and the Outlaws. I absolutely love. Captain <laughs> brutal. I mean, like, you know. I love Marvel for what it used to be because when I was growing up, Marvel was dark as fuck. It was violent too. I, I'm talking about back at the time when like Wolverine was smoking the cars all the time. Sometimes some of his books, mm -hmm. his books were nothing but blood drinking yeah, violence with no dialogue. The only, the only, <laughs> the only thing I can think of is, is, is the is Sam Keith or exactly, Punisher. Exactly. Punisher was like that. Yeah, but you know what? The Punisher, the Punisher, the Punisher series, and I think we spoke about this last um Dear Devil too. Yeah. The Punisher series was actually very, very good, and it pretty much kept to the core elements of the comic book. That's why I enjoyed it. Punisher and Daredevil, yeah, they were the ones in the comic books. They were a little bit, yeah. But, but DC has it hands down. I mean, they just yeah. did not care. Batman was goodness gracious, and then and then you know his when he take when he took over. You like the Batman movies? Eh, I guess. What? I guess. Yeah. Did she just? Oh my goodness. We're not gonna get along right now. She's like, eh. she went meh, Batman. Next topic. <laughs> Batman will beat every Marvel hero. Oh, get the fuck, it, man. Here you Batman go. wins. Oh, Shut him Batman, off right, right now, Jimmy. Shut him off right now. No, he will not. Right no, he will not. Look, look, look. We all know. We can agree here and say that Marvel's characters copy <laughs> characters. Listen, No, they don't. Majority of the Marvel <laughs> DC <laughs> characters came out before Marvel. No, Come on, the no. Adam, the okay. Adam, all right, the all Adam right. came out before Ant Man. Ant -Man. You know well, that. I will say, no, don't get me wrong, but I will say, I will say this: most of DC's characters are god tier type of individual. So yeah, it would be a problem with Marvel fighting some of them or the majority of them because DC does have some god tier type heroes, heroes and villains. But that's right. I don't think Batman would beat anybody like Doctor Doom. I don't think Batman would beat anybody <laughs> like Thanos. <laughs> I don't think. Nope. What do you think? Man? What do you think? Because I hear you. Batman, look, 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 look. I don't know, man. Batman, look, look. DC has has better stories, and and, 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 and then they have great villains. I mean, like, come on. I would rather see. I would rather see Lo uh, Lobo. Oh my God! That's that's the best one, best one. Come on! Oh, I love Lobo. They, they Lobo like probably... Deadpool is probably all Marvel got. That's rated R in the level of of DC. DC got. I mean, come on! If they did a swap, right. you oh got my a point God. there. I don't get me wrong. I tell movie. people I love. All right, here's how it goes with me. I love. Well, I wouldn't say I particularly love Marvel's movie, but I, I tolerate it. Mm -hmm. that. But I love DC's books and I love DC's animated feature films. They're absolutely yeah. yes. They're the absolutely Justice League amazing. series, yeah. And I don't know why DC cannot get it right when it comes to their DCU. Because I think it's because of the cri critics. They're they and I love them. I love them. But um, they tried and they failed. What they should have did before they came out with the Justice League movie. They should have came out with Aquaman. I'm sorry. They should have did origins on all of the um Justice League heroes, and then they came out with Justice League. They're like, I don't Wonder know Woman what was the good. fuck they was thinking. But Wonder I don't know. What's going on over there? You yeah, know what, guys? Um, a second. You guys keep on talking. Let me go grab some water real quick because I'm getting right. You guys okay, got, okay, me okay, okay. You got me excited. You dried out all my You hit it? <laughs> moist. Moist. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, don't don't die over there. <laughs> See don't you die, sir. That's your fault. <laughs> See you in hell. <laughs> Damn. 
<laughs> Man, if yeah, I got to enjoy like, some water right now. I, I, don't, yeah, see, I don't know. Like, what's that, what's that? I was like, I'm not really a fan of it. I'm not a fan. But I, I they they should have got it together like Marvel did. You see, Marvel was already doing their comedic things, I think. But but then again, you also got to look at like I thought when I saw DC's movies, like for example, when I saw a lot of the DC stuff, like uh, Wonder Woman and whatnot, and they were getting flack. They were really good. I just don't know why everybody was beating down on some of the DC movies. And then um, Marvel was doing their own thing. DC was doing its own thing. But then I think DC started like, okay, I guess everybody wants. Funny. I guess because DC movies isn't interwoven like Marvel was. Because yeah, you know how Marvel, they got their surprise endings at the end of the credits and shit like that. I think that's what DC should have did. But DC's characters, like especially the characters they made a movie like Aquaman. Aquaman is not, I mean, if they do the Earth 2, the new 52 stuff, Aquaman is like rated R. He's not kid friendly. I agree. Aquaman should have been rated R. He's not kid friendly. And, and, and I like Aquaman being like, yeah, he's got jokes. Like you saw like uh, Jason Momoa's Aquaman. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. like that. But he's a serious dude. And then, and then his vi- his villains, bro, the Aquaman trailer. Yes, I was that's when I saw Black like Manta. That. That's it. Black Man looked dope. Yeah, Black yeah, Manta. He looked dope. Kills he looked clean in that. Yeah. Black like Manta. I mean, what like villain? Like what villain got Black Manta? Oh, it, Black Manta is legit. I saw that. I was like, I'm I'm sold. That trailer was hot when I saw Black Manta in it. The minute he went into the sub, and I was like, Yo, Black Manta. And then he, he he had the suit. I was I was sold. I was sold. That's it. Wow. Okay. I'm telling you, All Black right. Panther was legit. And they didn't. And the funny thing is, I like about DC, they don't sell out. I mean, this is what bothers me. It's like when they're cultural appropriation nonsense. I don't like when they, like Fantastic Four, for example. Mm-hmm. I didn't like that new fan Fantastic Four, whatever it was called, Fan Four. I don't know if you guys Nobody saw it. Did. <laughs> nobody, nobody no, was was human uh, toys. everybody I was not happy about that you know because i was nobody. like make your own heroes then. you know I mean, that's the thing and i didn't like that so i think we i think marvel was just appeasing to the crowd instead of actually giving us stuff to watch and enjoy so oh, i that's the oh. thing you know well, well, if you look at the books now that, that's what that's what marvel does now though i mean if you look at all the comic books compared to what dc's is they definitely lean more to a, a pandering kind of audience than yeah what they you do with the that, characters. you know you know they're on the brink of shutting down the comic division right with all yeah that i heard about that they, yeah, they, they, they want to lean man. more to a lifestyle brand apparently yeah and i'm afraid that it's gonna trickle into the movies because like ant-man was getting hit with you know a lot of SWs were not liking it. Deadpool, Deadpool now was getting attacked because of fridging, and it's like oh, a Jesus. Yeah, you you heard you heard about that? Yeah, they were getting hit with that. Oh, yeah, they didn't even know what it Everything. was. Everything. Yeah, and and oh, that's just an excuse to make the damsel in distress a woman weak and what? I'm like, come on, I mean, like give me a break. So DC, oh. I I just hope that. You know, I mean, Aquaman is a man's man. I don't know what they're gonna do if they're gonna hate it because critics, you saw what Rotten Tomatoes is not to be trusted. No, not at all. With 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 with, with, with no, Solo, never because, trust the critics. Not yeah, all. because not now they they put they put Deadpool's reviews in Solos until they got called out for it. Exactly. Oh, exactly. So because they wanted wow. Disney to win, so now I'm not surprised that every time a DC movie comes out, they get harsher or criticized. And so that's why, because I liked Justice League. I liked it. You can tell when when Josh Whedon took over towards the end of the movie, because some of the jokes were cringeworthy. Batman would never say something like that. Exactly. Is there there still supposed to be a Zack Snyder cut? I mean, Jesus. Apparently his 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 version is supposed to be... So he had to stop. But I keep hearing there's supposed to be some sort of version of his that was supposed to come out was supposed to be darker and more serious and then they just well, killed that whole tone down when, it was when they, towards they the dropped him only towards uh. the end men came back out was when uh he he had to leave because of the death in his family other than that that's where we knew something was wrong with that movie but other than that i mean i liked the way it was going i just didn't like um because i think because of the pressure the media was giving dc that's why suicide squad didn't get 
they had to go through different directors and whatever and jump cut the movie to the point where we didn't even know what the heck was right. going on. Hold on. Look who we got over here in the messages. We have wonderful and lovely Miss Polo. Miss Polo, what's going on, sweetie? Where you been? We missed you. You know you're welcome to come in on the chat if you want to, but if you want to moderate the um, chat section, if you want to come in on the stream, you can. But if you want to Yes, I, I, we need another female in here, please. Wait, nobody's attacking you here. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's a safe know, space. Know, yeah. She needs a safe space. Look at this. Because it's oh, yeah. Damn, Mika. Did she, did she, did she, did she Mika just turn leave for you? Know you ain't ready for the heat. You need to follow that hashtag walk away, Mika. Walk away. You know? Hashtag walk away. <laughs> yeah, you know. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no flex zone. No yeah, flex. But um, <laughs> but um back to the um uh, the Aquaman trailer. Um you know, because like he's Aquaman, like I was really, really hoping that in the movie he had the chance to manipulate water instead of becoming Doctor Fucking Doolittle and talking to animals. <laughs> well, no, he has multiple powers. A lot of people don't yeah. even know that he's not just like talking to animals. That was actually one of his weakest powers, Doctor. He's like the last. He ha he can. Water because if you remember, remember, like, and this was before the new 52. But do you remember, um, Claudy when his hand got cut off and he made one out of water? Yeah, one out of solidified water and stuff like that for a mm -hmm. while before after he had took the trident off. Because when they cut off his hand, when his hand got cut off, he had a um, he had a trident stuck in there, remember? yeah, yeah, I remember, mm. but I didn't know, I thought that was, yeah, new 52. They changed, yeah, I mean. Look. <clears throat> <laughs> Aquaman is, if not as strong as Superman when they're in the water. Exactly. 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 But Superman is just he's 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 as powerful as the writers make him so. Because mm. we saw New 52 Superman and he's way OP. Yeah. Didn't he, new, um what was that? I think it was an issue I was reading. He pushed the planet like the old um Superman did, like Superman um Earth One did. Because I Earth One has the motherfuckers that's like God tier. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Earth One has God tier heroes because um, Power Girl. No, um, yeah, Power Girl. What's it? What's her name? Power Girl was the alternate universe Supergirl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And she came from Earth One, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And Earth One, when she went into Earth Three, it was one of the Earths she went into, mm -hmm. and she was pretty much God tier because she came from Earth One. Remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Was it the one where Super? No, wait. That's New Fifty Two or the new one because Superman. Superman it was where he was talking to Lois, and it took him 12 seconds. While she's talking, he left, got her these rare flowers. Right, right. From like three different systems away, right. came back, and she just finished her conversation and got her. I was like, goodness gracious. Yeah. That's nobody oh, reads that Superman. Yeah, because Paul. He spent, he spent his time in the sun to the point where the dude doesn't need the sun anymore. Right, that's how OP he was ridiculously. Exactly. Powerful. Yeah, he's God tier, like he's God yeah. tier. It, it, it was, yeah, they didn't even talk about him. And Superman is just that's why they, we can't make video games for him. What is he gonna do? Yeah, just all he could just like <sighs> blow down and everybody froze. Him. Yeah, like, um, the best one that showed it was, um, remember those guys with where he lobotomized them? Oh, yeah, yep, that's where he 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 he, he puts a mental block on himself so he doesn't kill, yep. Wow, that's, that's super. Don't mind me, yeah. gentlemen. I'm learning as I go along. Yeah. Yeah. That's why DC is better. I mean, they got better writers and they better artists too, because <laughs> the animation is much better than Marvel. Marvel's is horrible. Mm. I can't watch their Hulk versus Wolverine cartoons, man. Oh my goodness. Really? But they, they, need, they look they like Saturday DC. morning fun, though. They look like something you'd watch, like like. You know, on Fox Kids or something they ain't that bad. I, I, yeah, if you compare it to like the new turtles and the new yeah, yeah, for uh, sure. Stuff, then yeah, I guess oh, you're right. Let's not talk about them. That's, <laughs> you're talking about the new ones that's that slated for this year, right? Them that yes, that, that garbage. Thundercat babies. Right? Yeah. Thundercat. Thundercat. All right, so you know what? we're gonna we're gonna um see. I just want to know what do you guys think individually of the um, you know what? The Teen Titans trailer. Let's look at that real quick. Oh, Let's look at that real quick. And you know how. Ah, I man. Fuck, man. Nah, Everybody bro. looks like they're like like really people who couldn't afford cosplay costumes except for one dude. I thought it it's was a terrible. TV. Is it made for TV, right? Or is it's it a real movie? Like, no, it's it's TV. Tell me it's TV because it looks like it. 
it, it's it looks for, made for TV. It's, it's actually for uh, what do you call that? Oh God, what's the name of that? It's for um, DC's new oh. streaming service. They have oh, a new good. Streaming. At least it's not something you got to pay to watch in the theater because that'd be horrendous. <laughs> exactly, because yeah, I don't know. I, it, it 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 it's it's weird, and. I don't know. I'm not. I don't know about Robin. I thought I he know, looks I like Damien. Damien was the one who started um, the Teen Titans. I don't know why they showing this Robin. So that confused me. This looks like it's but made by not, those people who do the, the. Hold up. You know. You know the. Go ahead. Go ahead. You gotta remember um, when uh, the Dark Knight um, rises. I believe um, Robin was a detective. So. I think that they're handling it from there. They're just jumping all over the place. They're trying to see what's. Well, that's the Dark Knight series. I don't know if they're following that here because he's trapeze. That's not. That's Dick Grayson. This is Dick Grayson. It's right. Awesome. Exactly. And and um, Damien is his son, and exactly. he's the one who's this Robin supposed to be Teen Titans. He's violent. Yeah. I, I, if they should have made him the injustice. Oh boy. I don't know. This is like some the uh, music was like CW for me. I don't know. I, I can't get a look at it, man. It just it looks like it's made by the people who do the, the versus videos on YouTube. Like, hey, this guy's <laughs> dresses Punisher fighting this guy you know, dresses I don't Nightwing. Know, for some reason, I absolutely don't mind those. Look, 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 look. Right here, hold up. Hold look, up. Look, I think mean, but this, this but this looks like like it looks like it was made by that, but like they're trying to put a budget behind it. It it don't look, look like something you'd see on like a official. Now this right here, I have a problem with this. I have a problem. Lordy. I have a severe problem with look, this. Look at Raven. Raven looks like Tommy Wiseau from the room, yeah, man. This is honestly, just bad. Honestly, anybody can play those roles of those That's characters. Starfire. Yeah, exactly. Why does she dress like that? Why does she have to be dressed like that? Why does she have to have a hood ass red wig on? Looking Thank like you. From the hood and shit like that. So they feel as though that's what people relate to, blacks would relate to. To get like those that that, that diversity problems. First exactly. off, I'm honest, not if we were gonna have anybody portray Starfire, it could have been a chick that's mixed breed of like a well, it's anything, anything. Starfire is not I, in no continuity. Have I ever taken Starfire as being black? I don't. And plus, I didn't think there's any other characters on the Teen Titans that are black. Where the hell is yeah, This looks bad, man. It looks it horrible. <laughs> this looks so bad, man. Oh, how you know, is this official though? On a scale of I, one to five, I give it a negative two. Amazing stuff. I think that was Hawk and um Dove. Maybe that's Hawk and Dove that I just saw. Not sure. All right, Th this looks like a really bad official product, but a, a decent, like a fan made product. Yeah, so, exactly. Took the words yeah. right out of my mouth, yo. You look at everything is either bad or over. I, I don't know, man. It's edgy, man. She's so emo. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Well, 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 Raven in the cartoons, I believe that she was always emo, but yeah, but she's not like this. Like, this girl's like, I need attention, give me attention. Ugh. Well, she's going through a phase, <laughs> she's going through a phase, right? <laughs> attention. Can you help me? Please stay with me. Oh, no, oh my <sighs> goodness, my pilot looks good as fuck. <laughs> yeah, Tiffany said it's hot garbage, she said it's hot garbage. Uh. A hot ass garbage, a hot ass yeah, mess. I, you know what? I'm if it was a TV out. show, I, I would okay it because it I'm looks better it. than the Inhumans, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a chance, but I mean, I'll tell you what, though. Oh my god, whoever was it. in charge of whoever did costume design had the easiest job ever, man. He got paid really quick. He just said, "Here's a jacket. Here's a <laughs> here's a wig right there. We got we got a set of jeans you can put on, and then here we get some hair dye for you." And he walked out. Man, this is just. And yeah, we know how to relate to the black people. Give her a color wig. <sighs> make sure she got a fur coat. And this, well, that, they wear color wigs anyway, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> why for you know, like, you know she what looks like, like the most stereotype hooker from a movie from the seventies, though, man. Like, like I, I love the movie Vice Squad. Vice Squad is one of my favorite movies of all time. She looks I like, like one of she. Vice she looks like one of Ram Rob's girls in Vice Squad, man. This this is terrible. <laughs> Yo, Mika, you remember Vice the movie Vice Squad? That was a fucked up movie. That was a fucked yes, up movie. Yes, it was. Vice Squad is right. Yeah, up. yeah. Yo, Ran fuck. robbed the pimp, and he was beating down the girl at the door. He was he knocked, knocking at the door. Let me in. It was ginger. Your name was Ginger. 
And then she opened up the door and said, boy, are you stupid? And he just clocked her really hard. Boy, that movie was messed up. But horrible. The, horrible. But yeah, but she doesn't have to look like an extra from one of those movies. Like, they couldn't find any way to not make her look like that. It's almost just makes you take a seat back and, like, why are you dressed like that? Yeah. I could have sworn I killed you in Grand Theft Auto after you jumped in my car and I took my money back. <laughs> I got a friend that does that, too. He purposely comes and makes me watch his streams. Um, <laughs> he'll wear a motorcycle helmet, and he'll wear army fatigue pants and a black leather jacket. And he always nice. Listen, he goes out in the Ferrari. I won't mention his game attack because he'll kill me. Or like he'll who knows? He might even try to sue me. But um, he, he'll go. He'll stream it on Twitch. He'll stream it on Twitch, and he does nothing but go and pick up hookers. And then like he'll he'll, <laughs> he'll go and pick up hookers, and like he'll ride the car. He'll ride him through town and everything like that. Then he'll just find a cliff and just ride it off a cliff and jump jump out. Then it was one time he went and ran into a helicopter. Right, he ran into a helicopter. God went all the way up in the helicopter, jumped out with a rocket launcher, found a hook, and shot a rocket down on him. I was like, "What the hell?" I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, your friend loves hookers, don't he? Yeah. You right? want to tell me about hookers? Like, you know, you know the proof. It might be a little. That's all he does. It might be a little something there. Yeah. It's, it's good yeah. stuff. <laughs> It, it, I, I'm, you know, you know what I'm gonna do next time he invites me. I'm gonna record it so you can see. It'll be two hours of doing, of him doing nothing but like agitating the police, but more so picking up hookers and killing them. I'll be like, "What are you doing?" Like I'll be like, "Why are you doing this?" Like he'll be like, "Because." I'll be like, "Because what?" Because then that then they I deserve to die. Guy, the other guy on Fallout, he does nothing but stack body. He'll he'll invite me and he has a room full of dead bodies that he stacks up. After like you know like it's like some old shabby looking room. And he'll just be like, look, 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 look what I'm doing. That's nice. And shit like that. <laughs> I can't. Wow. I can't. Ooh, that's what I love about Fallout. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So next we're going to watch the Aquaman trailer. And no, I don't approve of it because, well, you know, closing thoughts on that Teen Titans, I'm, I, I'm in no rush to see that. I'm in no rush to see that. No, and I'm not up, either. Yeah, and I throw grew up. That, throw Titans. that whole show away. Throw that whole show away. <laughs> I, 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 I would just dump it. it. Humans, the Inhuman show. I grew up loving the Teen Titans, and I do not like the that that. Well, I mean, like, yeah, I understand DC is very dark, and that's the reason why I think I read more DC books now than I read Marvel because DC has still stuck to a formula of telling a good story that that I can relate to in terms of like uh, action, violence, intriguing stories, story arcs, uh, you know, like, how can I say, like um, surprise endings, so on and so forth. Because I remember reading this one book and not to get off topic, but I remember reading this book, one book called Identity Crisis, I think it was. And in that book, you come to find out the Justice League has been, has been, uh, how can I say, mind wiping people because Dr. Light was running around raping people. He was pretty much, <laughs> pretty much ran around. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry, but that's just kind of funny to me. Yeah, he pretty much ran around. <laughs> so many heroes. Damn. Even villains wouldn't work because they were like, yeah, like, you got to be careful. This motherfucker might have to go at like that. He might rape you. Yeah. <laughs> that's what rapey ass motherfucker. Well, yeah. I, I want, hold on one second. Dr. Light was a rapey guy? What? <laughs> Yes, he was a nice. Rapist, find out, and the Justice League. Oh hit, Lord, no tears. Justice League members, and then killed. Uh, he raped and killed. Um, uh, what's his name? Give <laughs> uh, me, give me. What's his name? Um, God, the 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 equivalent to Mister Fantastic. What's his name? Oh God. Is it a plastic guy? Yeah, a plastic. plastic? Well, yeah. well, I mean, well, look at him though. He's wearing a little swimsuit. He looks rapeable. Of course, he get oh, raped. No, no, no. A little no. swimsuit dealing yeah, with the no, with no, the little no. buttons, little guys, threads on his chest, shoestrings. Yeah, continue talking, guys. I'm gonna go get the book real quick. I want to show you this shit because he was he was. Right. He, <laughs> you're gonna show us a rape of the guy? Huh? No, All right. no, I'm not gonna show you a rape. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the book. <laughs> 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 Or, or, or to see plastic men get used as a condom, apparently. What the fuck? <laughs> I I don't know. 
plastic man getting raped and then killed or killed or was it killed and then raped in that order? I don't even know anymore. It's awful. Plastic man. Whoa. Uh, people that I know is plastic man and Mr. Fucking Fantastic. That's it. That's, that's the most random thing I heard of that. Plastic man got raped. Okay. Now I got to see. Now I got to Google that because that's just interesting. Plastic man. I, I got to do that in private though, because you'll get, you get gross results after searching no, plastic man plastic got raped. Plastic so man. It's not plastic man. It wasn't plastic man. The other one, the one that's on the fly series now, but I can't forget his name. What? Yeah. He's on the flash. Sure? Alec Dibney. Dip, oh, Dip, um, Dip, um, oh, it's not because look at plastic man. He just looks like he'd get, get taken. Now, actually, Plastic Man is on like, um, cosmic level. If you really um, read about him, this book right here—he <laughs> looks still like he get taken though. Look, look, this <laughs> book right here is where, like, uh, how can I say? It's it's the pinnacle of um, DC's hardcore storytelling. DC tells some rough stories, bro. DC be having some fucked up stories in their book. And you come to find Dude, out, Watchmen was like that too. Which one? Watchmen. Oh, Watchmen was an amazing book. I even enjoyed Watchmen the movie. Was I even enjoyed the movie too because I like you know, saw the full the unedited movie. cut, the like three hour long one. Yeah, but even though the yes. was within the ending, because you remember in the book, that big giant octopus type yeah. thing came to the planet and shit. I didn't mind it because it kept to the core elements of each character. And, and of course of nobody liked it. When they, sent, um, when they sent when they sent to go see um what was that? The Watchmen. Because it was so fucking adult themed. The Watchmen was not for kids. Never. I, I really liked it, so whatever. Very adult theme. Very. Did you? But like I think movie? that um, Watchmen was a. It wasn't even a comic. It was just a graphic novel. It wasn't even really a comic book. Yeah, Watchmen. It was, it was made to make fun of the superheroes, and uh, what's his name? Because uh, uh, and and the thing is that it was too. They were using real characters like Batman. They were really he. They were using the real characters, and then I think the DC was like, uh, "No, nah, you can make it your own thing, but don't use those characters." Because it was oh, no, making no, no, them no. Look no, no, no. What had happened was, what had happened was, is that um, well, for one, you do know that those characters exist in the DC universe, correct? The Owl Man and these guys, really? yes, they really exist in the DC. So universe. they were made up to imitate those. Yeah, uh, they were made up to imitate them, but at the same token, and Watchmen has been out since the eight. Like that, that book is old. That yeah, it is old. very old. Yeah, that movie is old. Yes. No, the book, but it's still great. The book is older. I love the book. I oh, love the movie. movie. I love the movie. A lot of people didn't like it. It was like, oh, he showed his penis and stuff, bro. What, like, why should you even be worried about that? The comic book was like that. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But I mean, like this book right here, Kenny, you got to read this. This shit is fucked up. I it is fucked. Oh, up. I love the Watchmen. I did. Uh, that's a great book. Yeah, I read it. You know, I enjoyed the movie you know, too. Terry, you know a character you remind me of on The Watchmen, right? Which one? Rorschach. <laughs> Him, Rorschach? Really? Not the comedian? Push? Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, oh and, just so, and just so you know, a lot of movies re uh, bit off the graphic novel of, of uh, Watchmen. Yeah. And, like the Saw. Remember Saw? Yeah. The first scene where he had cut his leg off? Yep. Rorschach. Mm -hmm. It was in The Watchmen. Mm-hmm. Where Rorschach gave the dude the, the same thing and let him get himself off okay. while the house was on fire. Yep. Wow. In case you didn't know, I mean, I'm just fun fact. All right, okay. so next we're going to watch the Aquaman trailer. You guys let me know what you think about it. If you need a break, let me know. We can take a little break if you guys want to, but if not, I will keep it rolling. Aquaman was lit. Go right ahead. All right, here we go. So I'm going to share this video right here. I hope they don't fucking like hit me with a strike or anything. But people want to see it. Everybody hasn't seen it. Uh, well, Warner Brothers, I don't know if they really strike. Do they strike? Because I think they, no, they're they okay with it. They kind of look at it as free advertising. You should be fine. I mean, yeah, it's it's. it's There's all kinds of dumb reaction videos all over the place. You should be fine, man. Yeah, exactly. Where they should basically oh. show the whole video with with some reacting to it. So, no difference. Oh, holy. But where did they get this brown hair from? How come I need my Aquaman with blonde hair? Honestly. Well, Jason Momoa. I know Jason Momoa, but he doesn't, he's, to me, I think he would do a better 
Lobo than Aquaman. Look at Tell him. Tiffany, I said, what up? Dude, why are you selling out? Hi, Tiffany. That's that, you, know, you know that was, you know who that was in there. You're saying. Is that Poison Ivy? No, <laughs> not Poison Ivy. Oh, come on. <laughs> I know it's not for you. No, she was cool though. I mean, I don't know. I, that yeah. red wig is horrible though. I'm sorry, I have to say. Yeah, he did. He's too red, but. Yeah. And Aquaman. I see no Aquaman in him. None whatsoever. Well, look, his hair is dyed blonde, I guess. Look, right? Yeah, it's, it's not dyed. dyed that shit is brown. Look, 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 look at the tips. He got like a little blondish tip, uh, dude. You're good. <laughs> I'm only going to see it for Black Mana. I'm being honest with you because I That's, love Black Mana. Black Mana is my Black boy. Man. I saw it and I was like, yo, two words. That's all I have to say. Yep, Black Mana. Reason why I like Black Mana, he's like a special monster, super villain. You know what I'm saying? An assassin. Yeah. Come on, get to the good yeah, part. Of the I, can't get, I can't get my mind off of the head of horrible red fucking wig. <laughs> I can't. That wig is a little bit too bright. That wig I'm, is. There like, we go. Man, that scene was hot. What he uses. Oh my goodness. Look at that. There he we go. That, like that is hot. Yo, yeah. That, yeah, man. That's cool. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be upset if 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 they gave if they made Black Mantis cut his hand off. Okay, oh, sharks. So. Yeah. I'd be okay with that. Do you remember how he used to sound on the Super Friends? He'd be like, hur, 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 hur. Oh, yeah, in the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> I like his armored up look here. I like how he's armored up here. It, it bounces out that big helmet. That They should have showed in the, this in the, in the movie. Justice. I'm sorry. They should have showed this movie before Justice League. That way they got everybody together. I, I don't think right. DC had the foresight to kind of compete with Marvel. You know, Marvel had their whole McDonald's formula kind of in place by then. Yeah, well, see, you know what? Here's mm. another thing, too. Um, like he said, McDonald's, like he said, um, DC, Marvel had like a formula laid out. They gave you introduction to these characters before they just presented to presented them to you in like one big conglomerate movie. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, you 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 knew about the Hulk, you knew about Captain America, you knew about Iron Man, you knew about all these characters. Where's though DC trying to play catch up? They're trying to play catch up. So therefore, what they did was like, you know what, we gotta compete with the Avengers. Put out Justice League. Nobody's gonna resonate or feel comfortable with these characters because they don't know. There's no history mm -hmm. with them. You know what I mean? Exactly. So I mean, that's where they messed up. That now, if you ask me, getting back to Aquaman, if you ask me, you know who I think would have made a perfect Aquaman, a perfect Aquaman. Who? Scott Eastwood, Clint Eastwood's son. Put some blonde hair on him. He's handsome. He got that nice, keen, clean look. Cause Aquaman is a pretty boy. <laughs> you want you an Aryan uh, Aquaman for I mean, sure? Yeah, I know, right? You want He's the, selling the, out the, the clean. You want the, the clean cut, <laughs> blonde yeah, hair. I'm always throw the long hair on him. I said, all right, let's look at some pictures of Scott Eastwood, bro. I'm going to show you. Scott Eastwood would have been perfect for um, Aquaman. I, you know, I can see Scott Eastwood in the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly remake, but no, not Aquaman. Sorry. Why? What, what does Aquaman look like? Does he, does, he, does he look like his dad? I mean, if he looks like his dad, I can't see him as Aquaman. That's kind of... He's blonde and Aquaman as exactly like his father. It's creepy that he looks see, just see, like his father. See, see, just by you saying that, I can't see him as Aquaman. Then, like, I mean, that's that's Clint Eastwood. He should be holding the gun somehow. Like, you look, know, exactly. that, look at this. Let guy. him play. That's let him play Deathstroke. He should he be Deathstroke. You know, somewhere. not not in the sea. No. Look at that. He looked just man. He would have been a perfect Aquaman. He got the nice slim build. He got the nice yeah. jaw. He got the nice. <laughs> you you were there looking at his cheekbones and everything, aren't you? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you don't look like a superhero. You gotta look like the a name's the male physiology kind of sir. Yeah, yeah. nice. Nice. Oh. Slim nice. He got the nice slim muscular build and shit. He's man. got the nice slim. Listen to his words. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's, 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 he's body. Body. so so so. Are, 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 are you looking for a little V guide by his prostate? Little. Pointer area. A what? Are you looking for a little V muscle area where that guys you this dick and his little stomach section on his shirtless tops? 
Nah. Nah. Well, you're you're here looking at his musculature and checking yeah, out the physique and I'm talking about how sculpted listen, he is. Listen, listen. It's just like my boy right here. Like, okay. Look, 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 nigga. Just like when they came <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. let's get him greasy. Put some grease on him. Let's see how he do, right? Yeah, I agree. You know, speaking of which, you know, my fucking action figures, and I would let him do that shit when I was a kid. My boy Fred. I would let him hold some of my action figures. This nigga would start greasing them up, putting grease on them and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah. what are you doing? But no. <laughs> perfect example. Look, Cable, right? I don't think, even though Josh Brolin did a good job, I thought Kevin Nash would have been perfect to portray K Cable. You understand? He would have torn a quad. I yeah. can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Yes. Cable, Cable is yeah, a big right. man. He's a big man. He's a tall guy. I like for my character yes. to mimic what they're supposed to look like. Like, honestly, I can't see anybody doing a better job as playing Blade than Wesley Snipes, even though I know he's old and everything like You're that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to Wesley Snipes because he portrayed Blade perfectly well, especially he, yeah. his attitude. He knew martial arts. He looked like Blade in the comic book. He had the nice little scowl all the time and shit like that. I like for my characters to mimic somewhat of what but he, he wasn't had. the first black superhero. No, he wasn't. Black no, Panther was. was. Yeah, he was. And I try to tell people. Mm -hmm. that. I try to tell people that. But I think Blade was the best cinematic Marvel action suit, black ethnic, um, ethnic, um, Superhero out there, and um, I think it was way better than uh, what's his name? <coughs> Blade, I absolutely love. I loved Blade. Blade one and two was my oh, shit. Blade, Blade, Blade Trinity Blade never existed. The first one, the first Blade one was Blade tremendous. Was yeah, sorry. And I, I thought the first one was was incredible because it had a really yes, great was. tone that was just straight like a hard R. Yeah, two was good though, but yeah. the first one was just tremendous. Yeah, the first one was amazing. The third one never existed. <laughs> you didn't like the first one? Uh, Trinity, the, Trinity, the, the Trinity. Oh, that Trinity never existed. Yeah. Uh, the this? vampire Pomeranians. Jesus. Yeah, I know, right? That was too much. How you gonna be a super villain running around? All your body is all scaly and spiky and everything, but you still got on leather, tight leather pants. Like, come yes. on. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're I'm transforming like, with them, man. So the only part they transformed was the top. The rest of it didn't like, you know, like nothing bust out at the bottom. Everything was on the top all, all spiky and bulky and everything like that. But everything on the bottom was like just intact. I was like, man, I, I hated Trinity. I hated Trinity. I feel, I feel bad for Jessica Biel because she's such a great actress and they gave her such a shitty role yeah. in Blade Trinity. You know, Ryan Reynolds was overkill. Triple H was overkill. That fucking Pomeranian vampire dog was overkill. Yeah, it's just the worst. <laughs> Triple just, H with the, the silver in his fucking teeth was just yeah. Nah. yeah like I, and, and do you remember at one time when Thor was slated years ago, they had a picture of Triple H portraying Thor? Again, I think Triple H would have been that would have been better. I think he would have been a perfect Thor. Thor is a big. I man. wouldn't mind that. Thor is a big man in a comic book. He's a very big man. I mean, I mean, honestly, what's his name? And I got, I know that you got to go with who's pretty or who the, like the women are gonna like and shit. But if you want to do character, character likeness down to a T, I think people like, like perfect example. I think, uh, like, uh, like who was that? I think uh, what's his name? Triple H would have been a perfect Thor. I think uh, if it came to somebody that needed to do Venom, I think they need to get like a big wrestler like like Batista or what's his name? Hey, get Brock Lesnar. His name is yeah, Brock, Brock Lesnar. Lesnar. Exactly. You need big motherfuckers to play these villains. I don't like to see skinny people portraying or like skinny motherfuckers that they put on like these thick platform shoes to portray like super villains and shit like that. Get some of these wrestlers. Okay, be, like, nobody has problems with Chris. Don't talk about my time. Yeah, like yeah, I'll tell you, man. I'm a big Tom Hardy fan. Don't talk about him like that. I'm glad he's playing Venom. No, I, I don't even. I, I don't even know how I feel about that movie. I, I don't even know if I'm gonna watch it. Me neither. Don't feel bad. Because now he's a good guy. Carnage is not even there yet. How is but that even you know what? Like as, as far as like Triple H playing Thor, I can. That. Yeah, like to me, I think he would have. And, and during that time, when the first Thor movie came out, Triple H was still kind of. Like that, they could have like CGI'd a little bit of like youth on his face or whatever. Case. <laughs> it's a yeah. whole bunch of shit. It's a whole bunch mm -hmm. of shit they could have did. Like me and myself, I would have loved the Thor films even more 
if um they had Triple H or like somebody like I said to me I would get some of the, I would like give some of these lines to these wrestlers I'll be like look I want you to read this this that and the other you you're a pretty decent guy you got the perfect build for this character so on and so forth right. let's see what you do you know what because like if the hey. Rock can make it, so could Triple H man but hey I'll tell you what man you can't tell me like Stallone wouldn't make a dope old man Punisher Stallone is half dead just right just now. just. Hey, hey you know that's what? why he'd work as the scar to beat up Punisher. Yeah, I think that would work. I think that would work. But I will say, even though John Bernthal is not as tall as the Punisher should be, I loved his performance as the Punisher. John I Bernthal. Was I've, great I've, watched Punisher. That, I've watched the Netflix series at least two times. That's how good the Punisher was. I enjoyed it. I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. Okay. Did All you right. watch the Punisher yet, Mika? You would absolutely. Nope. I, know, I wasn't really. I, I seen the movie. I seen the Punisher movie, and I found it really great. But I haven't got the chance to watch the series just as of yet. So I definitely have to check that out. So, on what do you guys say about Aquaman? Yay or nay? Yay, Black Manta. Two words. Yep. That honestly, that's what I want to see if it was Black. Black uh, Manta could have, they could have made a bl- movie about Black Manta himself, and I would have went and gone and see that. I love villains. For Jason some- Momoa's a Leo, so yay. Mm-hmm. Oh I'm my like, goodness. What do you man, think? They, they, what do you think, Lord they sh- King? <laughs> man, they, they, they show me like attack sharks, so I'm good with it, man. You show me like sharks, like attack harnesses and shit, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> you go with it. Oh, yeah. That's right. One time I was messaging Kenny, right? And I was like, you about to, I had some something, right? And he was like, I was like, what you about to get into? He said, oh, man. He said, I'm going to have to call you back or check you later. It's Shark Week. They show you eat your sharks eating up oh, shit. <laughs> oh, dude, 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 I get messed up and I just watch sharks eat things and destroy stuff. That's, 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 that's my that's my shit. I, get, I just get smacked and I just watch sharks bite into things. It's just, it's just the fun stuff ever for me. He said, I just get so, smacked. So, so I take it that you're a Jaws fan. I like Mega Shark more because he bit the bridge in half. And you know, <laughs> so, well, when you show me a shark bite doing like a tremendous feat, like snatching an airplane out the sky and biting a bridge in half, you kind of won me over. So, what was that movie come out with Jason Statham? He's about to fuck up a shark. Uh, Megs. Meg. You know, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all up. Ooh. Yeah, I'm ooh. Well, I was in the theater when they showed a trailer. I, I was about to get up and just start clapping. I was like, oh, I don't know why y'all clapping this other goofy stuff like here, but this is this is the one. I like when the little girl was getting clam up like this. He was like, like that and shit. Like he was going to eat yeah. it. And you sort of like shattered the glass a bit. You know what I'm saying? He at least cracked it. But yeah. Yeah. You know, that, that looks good. That The Meg looks very promising. The next hey, what about movie? Godzilla? Y'all see a trailer for that? Oh. Godzilla looks pretty decent. Yeah. Godzilla, I like Godzilla. I'm liking how they did the trailer. They did, they they didn't put any heavy music. It's almost like this somber kind of tone, and they lead right into the imagery. It's it's a it's a well done trailer, you know, and they don't give away too much too, which I'm I'm thankful. For, which most movies tend to give away most of the damn oh, movie by I, by like two trailers. You know I'm a Godzilla fan, bro. And you know me I too. Really know the monsters that's gonna be in there. You are gonna have Rodan. You are gonna have. Gideon, no, they show them. They show them. Oh, they show these motherfuckers in the trailer. It's clean when they show them too. You gonna have Mothra. You know who I want them to see redo? I want to see them. Um, Godzilla versus Hedorah, the smog monster. I that movie wow. used to scare the shit out of me as a kid, but I loved it. I loved it because it was just a violent ass, gory ass. I, it was gory as fuck. Cause man, one, Godzilla got his eye burnt out. You know what I'm saying? He, then you see him digging inside. Of, at the end, you see him digging inside of Hidora, pulling out the A's, crushing them, throwing them, Yo, you see him breaking up and burning the little tadpoles inside of him and shit like that. Man, I, I, yo, I forgot which one it was. Do you remember the one where Godzilla got possessed by all the vengeful spirits that people killed at World War II? Oh, my and he was, God. And he was like, like a big monster and, and just started... <laughs> Yo, and he, he, was, he, he was just ruthless. Ugh. Oh, my God. You know what? That was the one Godzilla film I think that resonates with me. Alongside of uh, Godzilla versus Hedorah or Godzilla versus Hedorah. this mother Mika, this motherfucker was so angry and cranky. He woke up, right? He woke up. He didn't have no fucking eyes or pupils. He was his eyes was just all white, and he was just a mean ass fucking Godzilla. He went from Japan all the way to the United States, whooping monsters' ass. No bullshit. What took Godzilla? What took our Godzilla? 
uh, a whole movie to do. This motherfucker was executing these motherfuckers in like seconds and minutes. Like he, um, there's one scene when he first woke up and he was running, you know, he was like, oh, like that. He turned and looked at all of these people and the kids and shit and said, <laughs> just like that. He was stepping wait, on. Hold on, wait a minute. My, Do you my remember the one scene where it was like there's like an old man who I think Godzilla ignored when he was a kid, and he thinks Godzilla's gonna be all cool, and then Godzilla just turns around and just fucks him up, just burns him into a crisp. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, so he, because yeah. I think that if you remember, if you remember the underlying story, it was all the uh, like the old the dead soldiers from World War Two had possessed them, and and they were mad that Japan had become soft after the war, so he was just yeah, wreaking was- havoc. I think he was Shogogeki Godzilla. He was one of the Shogogeki Godzilla. And the Shogogeki Just Godzilla. a monster. Yeah, they, they were, um, my my um, personal opinion, um, out of all the like the remakes of Godzilla, the last one that they made was the best one. I didn't like the one with uh, Matthew Broderick in it. Nah, that, that was terrible. That was garbage. That was awful. It was, it was, Godzilla was garbage. But, oh, it was an iguana. Godzilla was never a villain. He, he, he like he was a hero to humans. No, no, no. He was the hubris of humans, uh, vengeance, yeah. something or uh, somewhere. Uh, you remember, not, remember. I don't know if Shamika remembers. Is the defender of the earth. Godzilla. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So if the humans are damaging the earth, he's going to fuck up humans. Exactly. You understand, you understand what I'm saying? If That's why we made Mecha Godzilla. Exactly. Because Godzilla, if he, like, when we start polluting and shit like that, he will fuck up shit. Just like in Godzilla versus the Smog Monster. He did burn some people. He did start tearing up shit. He oh, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Godzilla is a defender of the Earth. Now, Gamera, Gamera is a defender of, like, he's a defender of humans. You understand what I'm saying? I love Gamera. I love Gam- Gamera. I love Gamera. He, he, he's, a little, he's a little too close to kids, though, man. He'd be, he be kind of Uncle Creepy, too. Yeah. Kids be yeah, whistling for him. He'd be coming. Have you ever watched I, some of those new Gamera films? Wait, wait, wait. Personally, I would love to see a remake of Mothra just to see who would play the twins. Well, like, he's in the trailer. They, 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 they showed his full wings pop. It's, it's, it's actually pretty dope how he have his wings, but they don't was, they don't reveal his extra thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, Gamera's going to, I mean, Mothra's going to be in this new film, in the new Godzilla film. And what, what's really disturbing me and bothering me, I mean, like that I have a problem with, is that there was never a time when America did a better job at a Japanese license than what the Jap- Japanese did. Not really. We're doing it now. World War II, exactly. all over again. We whooping them. Oh, shit. <laughs> but yeah, um, what we're gonna go into now is uh, what was that? The Overlord trailer. You ever seen the trailer for Overlord? Overlord? Oh, that was dope. I liked it. Oh, I, I thought it was I, clean. I, yeah. I films, and this right here, I kind of like the realm of indie films, even though it's not because I think it's done by Paramount Pictures, but. Another indie film, and I'm going to show you guys a little bit of it now. Hopefully, I don't get um, tagged with a copyright strike, but we'll see how it goes. Because I mean, like shit, I'm advertising y'all shit, so you better not give me a copyright strike. Okay, so we're gonna go right here to Overlord. Share that, share with everyone, and here we go. Overlord looks absolutely amazing. Let me know what you guys think. I like it already when I saw them World War II planes. That's a pretty looking movie. Yeah. Yeah. I love the, the way cinematography it of it. Mm-hmm. The, the color tones are nice. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Whoever did the film like the um, 
cinematography and the film. I mean, the cinematog cinematography uh, did a great job. Uh, the, well, the color correcting. I think the, the color correcting is real good because yeah. it has yeah, a it, certain. It, honestly, I love yeah. JJ Abrams. Yeah. Robot is going to be a good film. Happened in Star Wars, but I do love JJ Abrams' direction and like product production. It does a great job. Right? Yeah. This is dope. All the stuff we like, Kenny. Blow torches. <laughs> Blood. Nice. Oh, there's a beautiful flamethrower, of course. <laughs> you know, it's a good time. There's like vials of something, and someone gets injected with it in the movie. Right, I want to see this. Definitely gonna go and see this and do a movie review on it. November 9th. Got that slated. I'm gonna pre-reserve that. I'm gonna see that shit. But yeah, yeah. I mean, like, what you guys think? Gotta see it. Yeah, That's a must. That looks. That although, looks great. Although, although I, I made it my thing that to like out anything JJ Abrams because you know. He called me a misogynist, yeah. I, 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 oh. that, that's right. Didn't didn't you? Yeah, it did, Aaron, because he said he says anybody who didn't like Last Jedi is a misogynist. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I so guess I, I am too. I, mm, I, I, still like, I can't say that I don't like JJ Abrams. That, that's the thing that got me. That's why I'm like I didn't go see Solo because of that. Even though my friend saw, it, he says it's. I I know it's probably really good. Right. It's just that dude. I mean, same here. Yo, same boat. I, that, that's why I don't know, man. If I'm gonna see it. But if he didn't direct, because I, I just don't want to hear it. Right. I mean, right. I understand. I understand. We're the ones who buy the toys 50 million times. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. And again, like, you know, not to get off Solo. subject. That's the only thing. That's the, uh, I don't know if I'm going to mm -hmm. see it because of that. Solo was a fantastic film. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it, and it was a fantastic film. I felt like a kid again. And again, I'm not trying to, like, you know, relive my childhood completely. But there were things I could relate to being a Star Wars fan when I saw it. But what J.J. Abrams said about anybody who don't like The Last Jedi, first off, that's not good customer service. I would never, and you know, in my time of having my own toy store, I would never tell anybody, well, you bought the figure, go fuck yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I would never say anything like that. I'd give you a good review for that. You know awesome. what I'm saying? Oh, so, so, so because um, such and such and such and such, you told me to go fuck myself, see if I support you. <laughs> And see, again, what these guys are not understanding is that the majority of people that watch Star Wars are Caucasian men. And most Caucasians, most Caucasians, when they say they're going to boycott some shit, they ain't like black people. They ain't like Spanish people. When white people say they're going to boycott something, they do it. And Solo was a perfect example. They said because of the backlash that, um, what's that? Disney Studios or like the Star Wars team, Kathleen Kennedy and Roundhead Ryan Johnson was like responding to fans with, that's the reason why your solo movie did bad. You can't talk crap to your fans. Your fans, I'm sorry, when it comes to me and I'm selling shit, customer's always right. Oh yeah, I'm a jerk off, this, that, and the other. You know what, I'm gonna work on that. Even if I don't work on it, you don't respond back to them and be like, oh, well, if you don't like it, this, that, and the other. Okay, oh, so really, if I don't like it, I'm a jerk off, and because I don't like it, I'm a misogynist, or because I don't like it, I'm a man boy. Okay, I tell you what, see if you get my man boy dollars. See if you get my he man boy dollars. Everything. You're a man I don't boy. <laughs> I don't understand, I don't understand who, is that, who over there at Lucasfilm is in charge of their PR. I don't understand it because when you go on Twitter, so on and so forth, these these Lucasfilm motherfuckers, they are talking mad shit to fans, people that have paid money, people that you see in there, like they'll take pictures and show like their Star Wars collections and stuff like that. Dude, John Krasden, I mean, I'm like, yo, you you were like- You're about to have a heart attack today, you all right? <laughs> And then John, they dropped the die John, over there. Man, because no, John Krasden, you know, you know he directed Empire Strikes Back, right? 
John Krasen did the Empire Strikes Back. No, Star Wars was my thing, man. John Krasen directed uh, Empire Strikes Back, and then his son was supposed to be filming Solo, and then all of a sudden you go on Twitter, and then you start talking about uh, even nobody cared about the sex of of Billy D. Williams' character, oh, and then you telling me he that ruined it for me. Oh no, real that. I that's like, one of the reasons I don't want to touch that movie. Robot rights? Robot rights? Why? Uh, if, how would you put something like that that doesn't even transition into a new hope and all that other stuff? Because where was that in there? Robot? Yeah. He wants to sleep with me? Come, really? It was Why are we doing this? And then he tweets and tells us that, um, yeah, that's right. You know. George Lucas created a world that's big for everybody. I don't take anything back. You guys are whatever. Awesome. I'm like, this is how you want to treat us? Really? Okay. Wow. No problem. I'm not seeing this movie. That's why my friend texted me a picture when he went to see Solo in this country. Like only three people was in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got so, the yeah. I, I got the pictures inside my phone, too. Ooh, I, I thought, you know, I actually went to a matinee. I thought it was going to be like packed or whatever. And um, no, it was... Uh, no okay. man, Fuck. I'm not selling out like that. Are you kidding me? And then you got the Me Too movie. Nah, bro. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, that's the You know what? That's I was gonna put this up here. I was gonna put this up here, up there, in response to um, in response to uh, what was that? Solo. <laughs> you know what I'm wow. Seriously? I am not bullshitting you. I am that's not good stuff right there. That's a good stuff right there. We need to keep it up. I am not bullshitting you. I could sit anywhere in that movie theater. Whoa, we got, we got was, choice was, seats, man. It was literally, Lord. it was like 12 o'clock in the afternoon. 12 o'clock, and I was like, I'm thinking I'm going to have to fight through a crowd and shit like that. I was like, oh, nope. shit. I went back out the movie theater, and I was like, maybe I'm in it. I looked up at the sign. I was like, ah, this it. And it started, I was like, wow. By the time the movie started, I'd say like maybe, I would say, 20 people were in the movie theater, and that this was like an AMC, oh. an AMC, one of them big major ones. This wasn't a That's winky. Hard. That's sad. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I mean, like, you know, Overlord looks good. I'm going to go check it out, regardless of what um, asshole AJ Abrams is. You know what? I always live by this theory. I always live by this theory, and I live by this quote in my life, and I made it up for myself. Eat the food, fuck the plate. You know what I'm saying? The plate is crap and everything. I just put the food off and I out the plate. And I consider J.K. Abrams as the plate. So fuck it. And don't get me wrong. There's a lot of stuff that J.J. Abrams has um done that I absolutely love. I love what he did with the Star Trek series. I love what he did Not with... Not until he said Sulu was gay. Yeah. Well, no, he was always been gay. Honestly. Even when I was growing up, I knew this dude was gay. But, 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 but do we have to be... No, we don't. We don't. We don't. Just tell me a good story. Just tell me a good story. You know, story. Well, hey, I, there's, there's an obsession with revealing the character's sex or er, everything you do. You guys say, hey, that guy's gay. That's a lesbian right there. And they're so brave. Why can't you just be a regular yeah, ass person? Like, who, who cares? Like, huh? You saw Jurassic Jesus. Fallen who cares? Kingdom? Jurassic Fallen Kingdom? I, I, I don't care. Yes, I knew that girl was a lesbian because the minute like, she calls a man beefcake and all, I'm like, really? Uh, no, really gonna do this? Yeah, and like Chris Pratt really calls the other dude, you're the you're the white dude. I'm like, really? We're really doing this? Yeah, Jesus. It's crazy. I'm like, really? Lost World. Ooh. You don't want me to like your movie now? And then you have the, the, the beta black dude crying, and then you got the girl who was in the last movie, you got to design the dinosaur. She's like, oh, it's not a T-Rex. And she's like manly and knows everything. This dude is crying. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I, I wanted them to die. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Movie. Yeah, I can't do that, man. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't of course, think the girl is gonna be hell of a tough. You gotta do that nowadays. That's the thing to do. Remember, you guys remember the Transformers trailers when they first showed them for the last? I think it was where they made the point and said, "Hey, fight like a girl." Yeah. I do it. Yep. Like, oh, does it need that? I mean, just have exactly. the movie. Exactly. It's called Transformers, not girl fight. I mean, like now, one thing I can say, I did see Jurassic World: Fallen, um, Fallen Kingdom. It was okay. It wasn't as good as Jurassic. World. From the 2015 Jurassic World 2015, I absolutely loved. But Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom to me, it felt like it was all over the place. Um, like it, it just wanted to be so many things. I felt like a person made that film. It was just all over the place. 
I didn't really enjoy it as much as I did Jurassic World. I didn't. I don't know. Jurassic World was much better as as far as you got, I really you got these millennials to save the dinosaurs. They don't. They're anti-gun, and then you pick up a so gun. Stupid. Yeah, really? Why are we doing well, this? You know, not to kill it for anybody that hasn't seen it right oh, here. My bad. Like, oh, that's my on, bad. No, 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 no. Go ahead, because at this point, it's old as shit. It's about to be out on DVDs. Too. Like, what the fuck? Like, um, Penny, Mika, if you yep. not, if you have not seen um, Jurassic World, the ending to me is fucked up. This new Fallen Kingdom one, the ending was fucked up. So you essentially Fallen Kingdom you yet. more about these fucking monsters than you do about humanity, and you let these motherfuckers go <laughs> out into the world and they're going to eat women, men, and children. So <laughs> it's just <laughs> PETA, bro. We, we love animals, <laughs> PETA. Uh, We're willing to do we that shoot today. them. And We're willing to do that shoot today. one. A little girl that you pretty much think she was probably made in the lab or something because they were hinting around like, because when you see a picture, like... Uh. The little girl was like a kid, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, uh, you see her grow up, like, you know, like they were young, and then, like, she was grown, like the, the, the grandfather was grown or older, and she was still a child. So you pretty much think, like, he created her in the lab. So what did this little monster do? She released, she, she see them all pinned up in, like, this, towards the end, she sees them all pinned up in this chamber that's going to gas all of them and shit like that. What does this monster do? She says, they need to be free, and releases them out into the fucking world. Raptor. Oh God. Raptors, all the dangerous motherfuckers that they herded up. Raptors, Tyrannosauruses, and shit. Yeah, because like it's PETA, bro. All the cool ones, yeah. Yeah, all no, all the carnivores, all the monsters. She releases out into the world. All the, and it goes off like this. All the ones you loved like, as a kid. Yeah, with Scott. And, 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 and dude, yeah, Kenny. Kenny. They were crying. Oh my goodness, they're gonna get gas. Oh no. They were crying, and these things uh, uh. were trying to kill you. Yes, like one monster can eat up like four people in one gulp. You know what I'm saying? Remember the point? Remember, remember the feeling of the original Jurassic Park when you're supposed to kind of fear and dread the monsters coming to bite your yes, arms you off and cut them off that no, it's not you. like that anymore. We got to save them now. Yeah, they're more important. They're than so us. fucking stupid. That's why. Then the thing about it, had it. Had it. Yeah. Had it. Have like um genetically altered ones like Blue, where this motherfucker literally thinks like a human being or close to a human being. So yeah, she's gonna know strategically how to get her meals every day. Eat up a child, eat up a family and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nah, that's how that's how you start the end of the world with the one smart one that breathes into the other one. They all get smart and they all fuck us over. Exactly. What kind of shit is this? Exactly. They should have killed like, all of them. They I'm were like, going to die. I'm and, like, what the fuck? I was like, what type of a happy... I said, how could they make this a happy ending? Not saying I wanted a happy ending, but damn, like, these are monsters you're releasing onto the world. Because millennials, yeah, like run up to a I, 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 I was just about to say, this sounds like fan fiction by a crybaby millennial. Yeah, it was made a movie. It was a whole movie. Dude, the minute the movie starts, you saw signs. They had dinosaurs have lives too. Dinosaurs' lives matter, bro. I'm telling you. Until they, Lord. Until they eat your family. <laughs> They're until you find fucking grandma, prehistoric until you find monsters. With fucking little baby raptors gnawing on her innards. Wow. <laughs> the only person who had sense was there was Jeff Goldblum. Yes. Oh, yes. Gosh, yes. I can't with these people. These fucking millennials. They're, they're just they're the whole message. Wow. They're everywhere. So, so, everywhere. So, so, so they they completely missed the point of the original movies. How how we're bringing back something that shouldn't be in this fucking time period, yes. but we shouldn't yes. be. Yes. They, yes. they they yes. lost yes. that, huh? Yes. Oh. If you watch the film, they essentially released all these mother this little mutant fucking biological experiment girl released all these monsters onto the world. Like then like, 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 like then like you know you see this goes you shows you shows you the mindset of like the, these movie creators now with like they and they started playing like this glorious like Lion King music at the end like this is a good thing. You see a raptor looking over the city over the city like. Then you see a, a tyrannosaurus. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, this motherfucker was like, he was like this. He was like, you know what I'm saying? Then you see a tyrannosaurus run up to the zoo, looking at a lion, like, mm, and the lion, like, Argh. you know. So you know what happened to the, you know what happened to the lion? Damn. That's supposed to be like an iconic moment with a lion standing up to the tyrant. No, the lion gets eaten. Yeah, pan away from that. <laughs> of pan course. From that. The lion literally gets bitten in half. Pan away from that. 
then you see like all these other little, <laughs> and they showed you all the what what boggled me is that at the end they show you all the, the all the carnivores like the pterodactyls you see them flying over the city looking down like over, over oh Vegas, that's that's bro. that's good yeah. that's gonna be good <laughs> that's <Yeah>. real good <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> In the rap, like, they were like, yeah. oh, they like you, they, you oh, saw, you shit. saw Los Angeles, Hollywood. This is ridiculous. Yeah, that, that, that's that's going to be. You really, you literally riding around with this franchise. You are literally riding around with this little bitch that instituted fucking post-apocalyptic genocide. Oh, on well, it. Was it? And this yeah. this was portrayed as a happy moment. They had like yes. a happy tune playing. Yes. That's ridiculous. No, because I had to watch it again. I was like, wait a minute. Cause they was she she walks in the lab like you know towards the end all the dinosaurs and the dangerous motherfuckers because like the motherfuckers who were capturing them were trying to mass produce them and sell them you understand what i'm saying pretty much what kenny would do he would sell them but no this bitch weaponize them yeah and that's what they were doing because they made of course they made another hybrid or like this type fucking um dinosaur that was a cross between a raptor and some other shit you know what I'm saying? So yeah, and the thing about it is, the thing about good, it, what really. gets me is that they're always like using the raptors as, and, and the raptors are the da- most dangerous ones if you ask me in the Jurassic World. Because these motherfuckers be like, they be in groups just sitting there like, like, yo, come here, come here, come here, come here, go around there and get that motherfucker real quick. Watch, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just scam real quick. Swipe his head off or like strip down his spine real quick, and we'll just fuck him up. You know what I'm saying? They pretty With much the knife feet. They got fucking yeah. They got that, that, that one toe, that 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 dangerous toe that's that's made for eviscerating and shit like that, and you know, <laughs> and cutting open shit with one swipe. You know what I'm saying? So then, um, so then you know they made this crossbreed or like this hybrid one that's just like up there already. You can just tell it's like a recipe for destruction, and they, they're bidding off this motherfucker, and it manages to get loose and shit like that. So you know the kill button goes on with this thing, and then from there it's just all chaos and anarchy that ensues. Wait, wait, so so I'm I'm guessing that there's going to be another Jurassic World movie. The next after Jurassic this? World is going to be nothing but strong body parts and dinosaurs just hey, like hey, hey, like dragging them like. And hey, we're gonna get the Rock to come and do, and do like his thing. It, it better be. It better be like some kind of post-apocalyptic film because you can't do anything be. past that anymore. They're it's free. They're killing everybody. Dystopian bullshit. This that- fucking this fucking bio experiment. This fucking tube lab. This test tube baby girl literally let loose hell on earth by releasing these fucking <laughs> monsters. And then was like they no, need to be free. They need to be free. They were created like me. And then the bitch hits the button slowly like. <laughs> You see them dinosaurs like it, it, stepping it, over, stepping that, over. That's, that's fucking. Fuck that, that's uh, what is that? That's Gears of War, pretty much. They're, yeah, they're, they, they're they, fucking they're doing that whole routine again. Literally, nice. literally trampling each other to get out and eat. They're not going to like cohabitate with human beings. They're going to eat anything that stands in their way. They're hungry. They're mindless. They got the minds of fucking pebbles. All they know is their lizard brain is telling them to do shit. The only one that has some semblance of thought process is a fucking blue and that's the fucking rapper raptor and shit like that and that's dangerous that's dangerous because at the end <laughs> the, last, the last scene you literally see this bitch go up there this little this this fucking raptor with independent thought this fucking sentient fucking raptor up there going like ur, ur, calling other motherfuckers so that she can like see if she could herd up a group so we could just get the kill on you know what i mean <laughs> it's time to eat it's time to eat with gravy with gravy this time. This time to eat. To, these humans will have no fucking opposition to fill out that. Uh, that's good. Yeah, so that's what I thought about Jurassic Fallen Kingdom. It wasn't as good as Jurassic Park um, or Jurassic World. It was Jurassic World in mind. Throw the whole ending away. Yeah. No, but I mean, like, shit, by, this, by now, everybody should have saw it. I usually that sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds, that's, that's hilarious. Yeah. And it, they really didn't show too much, like, like to me, I felt as though Jurassic world was a bit more bit more how can i say action-packed in terms of uh how can i say well it was more visceral because they did eat some people you know what i'm saying well like this one it felt like a kid friendly kid friendly type indiana jones film where it was a lot of action running around and shit like that running from monsters and shit like that but you rarely saw them eat anybody you saw like you maybe saw like two two or three people get eaten that's it you know what I'm saying? It sounded like free willy to me. Yeah, it, 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 you could tell like where it was going and everything like that. And the monsters battles wasn't as good as it was in um, Jurassic World, if you ask me. 
the um 2015 one because when that white um that white uh hybrid tyrannosaurus oh man in jurassic world he was fucking shit up he was tan shit up he was tan asses up man he was eating everything he ate everything this motherfucker ate no <coughs> He ate doors, he ate people, he ate other monsters. Sometimes he would just run by and kill some shit. Just, and he'd put his foot on it and be looking around like. <laughs> like, what the fuck, yo? Why you move? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, moving right along. They got, uh, they showed like the trailer for Walking Dead. Walking Dead, which is season nine. And me, myself, as much as I'm a, um, a big fan of Walking Dead, it needs to die. It needs to die. Yes, it needs to die. This is the final season, right? Yes, final season. Thank you. I'm hyped now. Yeah, it needs to die. I actually enjoy Fear the Walking Dead more than I enjoy The Walking Dead. Really. I, 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 I'm happy that it's ending. I think it is overkill. Yeah. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with um Nick, though. What they're doing with Nick. You mean Rick? Rick, Nick, Slick, whatever. Um... Rick, from what I understanding, well, you know, I, I don't want to divulge too much story because you know what, um, Kirk uh, always changes uh, it up from what you believe. Because like me, I'm an avid reader of the book. I read the book a lot. Um, I pretty much like the last issue I think I stopped on was like 130, um, 135, I think it was. And um, Rick was pretty much non-existent in certain aspects. So, I mean, like, you know, I'm not trying to divulge too much story, but I will watch this season to see how it ends. I'm going to be honest with you. I will watch it to see how it ends. I'm not as excited as I was when it came when it um when it came to like seasons one through four. But like right now, I just want to I just want to know. Isn't somebody else leaving, too? Well, a lot of people are leaving. I mean, like, you know, it's ran its course. It's getting long in the tooth now. Like not to mention the story. That like like some episodes, and you don't expect every episode to be like top notch or through the roof or pretty much like uh, grasping everybody's attention. But like the story arcs are just like going all over the place. They don't know what else to do with it. And then like there's a lot of controversy going on with the developers there, like who are right like, writing the film and doing the, writing the show rather, doing everything. So they just like let's let's kill it. It's time for it to die. Really, really to be honest, great. it's really time for it to die, in my opinion. Yeah. That's how I feel about it. I actually, Anybody uh, guys I okay about it? No, go ahead. I just wanted to end. I'm happy that it's gonna end. I'm so happy, but I'm I'm more hyped now because I think was it season five, right? Or half of four? It mm -hmm. got it, it. Just I I'm I, it was dead. I yeah. took a hiatus on it. Me too. And I only caught up when I saw Sneegan come in. That's when I started watching the others to get to, right. to get to where it is. Because Negan was, Negan pissed me off, man. I love Negan. Him. Negan love was him. like, fuck Negan. Negan was like, uh, what's his name? Joffrey from Game of Thrones, man. Yes, I'm no. like, yo, this dude pisses me. Off. Yeah, because right, you know, right now, not, yeah, mm. yeah. I'm I'm hyped to see how it ends because mm. I didn't know Negan was still alive. Yeah. Mm. And so. Mm. So it's like now I'm interested to see the dynamic now where Nick is Rick. I can't believe I said Nick. See, thank you, Nika. <laughs> but Rick is uh yeah, because I think episode seven was good because I, I liked when they got what's his name back. Right. Um yeah, I liked it. I liked the begin I liked when Shane man, it was great season one. Oh my goodness. That season got me one. all into season one was legit. Mm -hmm. Season one was Shane. Shame, man, when they remember with the, the barn, the girl got out the house, mm -hmm. and the zombie, and uh, what's her name's daughter? Uh, yeah, see, that solidified everything about me. And I like Carol a lot. I'm glad she's not. <laughs> me love too. Carol. I love Carol. I love, love Carol. Carol was awesome. I like, but you know what? That's what made the show because the story arc went from Carol being this individual that didn't really want to participate to where she turned into a complete psychopath. And yeah, I she's willing to kill first, shoot first, ask questions later. Honestly, she's one of the most dangerous characters on the show. And again, the reason why I like the way they did it because they show they didn't just automatically make her like a Mary Sue, or they didn't automatically make her no, like she was never that like this woman of strength that just no. There was a level where you actually saw as the season her her rea her sense of like morality and like uh, her whole whole 
aspect of like what is good and bad just started cracking. To where like anybody should have been a feminist would have been Carol because her husband was very abusive to her. Right, and she wasn't, and she wasn't. Yeah, she mm-hmm. became that individual. She became that individual due to the fact of what she went through. And when you saw yeah. her kids, like when she lost the children and stuff like that, she lost it. Mm-hmm. When she went like, you know, like uh, and everybody she kept losing, but everybody that that died within the original, the original group, she just started losing her mind. And remember, she, she was dirty too. She was dirty too and how she and handled a lot of things. And that's why she wanted to leave the camp because she knew she had bad seed. Right. That she did a lot of shady stuff too. Man, that's that. It was good until like like, like I think one I think seasons one two and three were great. Yeah, I don't know what happened with four five and then six and seven seven Negan. Wow, I'm, I'm shocking! I didn't expect a lot of things to happen, bro. Mm. With Negan, Negan just turned things up. Um, and then Rick's Carl died. I liked. I didn't like Carl in the beginning. Then when he got older, I liked him. And then when he got right. him, I was like, yo, really? And then, you know, but like I said, I thought, yeah. Well, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. I, a lot of the fan following started falling off when he killed off, uh, what's his name? Glenn. Glenn. Yeah. Glenn. And But I was trying to tell people, there's no way you can continue the story, even if you don't go along with the story with the books. There's no way you can continue the story with Glenn in The Walking Dead because he does he by in the books he's been dead. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, in the books the, a lot of things they change so much. Yeah, I don't even know what more, they change a more. lot. Cuz in the books yeah, they, Rick was supposed to be gone a long time ago. Right, right, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, a long time ago, dude. I mean, he's not even supposed to be alive this long. Exactly. And he was I was gone like, a long was, time ago. Mm-hmm. This is why it kind of weirded me out because you know Game of Thrones did the same thing too, where the books I was like, wait, what are they doing? But they did a great job with it, so I'm okay right. with it. Right. Oh, and it- I know this is off topic, but because I brought up Game of Thrones, mm-hmm. you know they're trying to get those guys to do a Star Wars movie, right? Yes. Yep. I just hope they don't make them do some. Stupid stuff. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, because I love the way I, they, I like them. I yeah. love the storytelling. I love the way they tell a story. They tell a story brash, harsh. Like honestly, see, this is the thing when it comes to and and, and 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 this women of non non power, whatever they need to. These women need to watch Game of Thrones and see how powerful these women are. Yes, Cersei pisses me. Oh my goodness, I want her to die so badly. But then I love her too at the same time. Yeah, me too. Because she was. Mama Connors in yep. the Sarah Connor Conifers, yep. the Sarah Connor Conifer Chronicles. Yep. I don't know if you guys saw that series. Yes, I did. Of course, that was like years ago. And the Sarah they Chronicles. Fox, I'm uh, that. Yeah, they, I don't know why they ended it, but you know. Hmm. You never saw Sarah Connor Chronicles? I have. I have. Loved yeah. it. I loved it. I loved Strong it. Strong woman lead to what? Yeah. <laughs> aliens. Oh, we, 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 what did we have? We had Aliens. We had Terminator 2. I mean, come Alan on. Foley, yep. Come on. Come on. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Why are we hating? Okay. Okay. Anybody else got anything to say? I'm just listening right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next one today? Well, next one, Abe, you do know that they're doing a Batman um, animated Hush film, right? I want to see it. Me too. Hush was a deep book. I want to see it. I love that book. See, I told you. Now you see why Batman beats everybody in Marvel. Because Batman is Batman. Batman. Batman Batman is not that serious. So let me ask you a question. Since you're such a Batman fan. (laughs) Check it out. Check it out. Since you're such a Batman fan. Does Batman kill, or did he just knock people out and stuff like that, right? Well, it depends. Are we going to go with the 500 series when he started killing? But it wasn't really him. I think somebody else took the mantle. No, bro. So you it never had that issue where, like, um, where, um... Well, Dark Knight series, he was violent. Yeah. Do you remember Dark when he walked around, the you remember the when he around with a shotgun, too, at one time? Yeah. Yeah, so I don't see no problem. That's where, that's where, that's where, yeah, I wouldn't, I don't see a problem. Yeah, he's violent. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I mean, because like I try to tell people, even when I was young, Punisher I, was trying to be like Batman. That's all I'm saying. 
Uh, well, you know what? I agree in some aspects. Bat, the original Batman, because the original Batman was a murderer. He would kill people. He would kill people, and he was wanted by the police, so on and so forth. There was a lot of stuff. But, like, it was this one big, I think it was Batman Cacophony. Did you ever read Batman Cacophony? Mm, mm -mm. I don't Batman, know. Cacophony, Batman Cacophony, pretty I much. Have... Yeah, Batman Cacophony pretty much delved into the psyche and pretty much, like, they let you know that Batman has killed and he does kill. But in his mind, he doesn't feel as though he's killed these people. Okay, Batman, you just threw this motherfucker off a fucking roof, even though you did have him tied to the bottom of his legs and shit like that. Everything just snapped in this motherfucker's body. And you come to find out you had motherfuckers like Robin. You had a lot of the motherfuckers that hang around Batman that would cover up a lot of shit that he's done, especially Commissioner Gordon. Read Batman Cacophony. That book is fucked up. Batman is a murderer, but in his mind, he really believes that he's just like knocking these people out or they're just going to the hospital. No, this motherfucker that you just threw into a fuse box, Batman, he just fucking got electrocuted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He got electrocuted at a fucking 100,000 volts. Yeah, he's sitting in the hospital, but he just died. This one motherfucker that you threw, that you pretty much like punched in the face with like paper steel knuckles and shit like that, his neck broke when he was in the hospital. But this one motherfucker is in a coma permanently. He doesn't come out. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why you get the Joker be like, yo, you're not as innocent as you think you are. You're a murderer. He'd be like, I'm not a murderer. Yeah, you are a murderer, bro. You murder. You murder a lot. You got to read Batman Cacophony. Batman Cacophony, and it was a couple other books like that they pretty much like DC tries to take out of the fray, like the early stuff that I was reading when I was a kid. Batman murdered a lot of motherfuckers, or he would leave people in positions where like they die after a while. Like that one guy he locked up in that fucking in the sewer. And locked the door and he starved to death. What was his oh fucking my. name? What was his fucking name? Yeah, look it up. I trust me when I tell you, I'm not making this shit up. That man is a fucking psychopath. If you ask me, he's worse than the Joker. At least you know where the Joker's coming from. That man picks and chooses which fucking villains he wanna lock up or which fucking villains he wanna pretty much get rid of and shit like that. Like if you ask me. Like, um, what was that? Batman under Red Hood. Even though they made some alterations within the animated series, Robin made a valid point. He said, you up here, like, you up here, like, just locking up these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers ain't scared of you no more, Batman. Dude, dude. injustice <laughs> proved it. Justice. Yeah. With David. Yes. He, he was like, I don't care. Look, I mean, he killed so, Zed. So, so, mm -hmm. so he even killed Zed. He's like, look, now you don't have to worry about him ever again. Exactly. Exactly. He said these motherfuckers don't do nothing. But they, they, it's gotten to the point where like they know Batman gonna lock him up. Some of them stand there waiting. Red Hood is Jason Todd. Exactly. Yeah. Red Hood is Jason Todd. Jason Todd literally told him. He said Batman. He said you know it wouldn't have been a problem if you had. Um, he said it wouldn't have been that much of a big deal if he said it wasn't nobody like um like the Penguin or Riddler and stuff like that. He said but the Joker. He said he beat me to death. He said he literally beat me to death. And what did you do? You just locked them up. He said some people are not, he said they're beyond repairing. You can't lock all these people up. Some of them need to be killed. He said, he's like he was like, yo, I'm just doing what you won't do. Plain and simple. And Red Hood don't give a fuck. I love Red Hood. Red Hood gets, Red Hood will kill you. He will kill you. Nightwing, no, not Nightwing, but um, Damien. He will kill Damien, you. Damien, yeah, he'll kill you. He will kill you. Um, I think he was. I think that's. Probably, I don't know the reason. I, I don't remember why. Where uh, Teen Titans came because Damien. Damien yeah. is the leader of Teen Titans. Right. Hmm. But Come yeah. on, Damien was trained to kill. Ray Shaw. Of course he was. Well. Of course he was. Of course he was. Ray Shaw Ghoul. Because essentially, you remember when Ray Shaw Ghoul, like his um, what's his name? Um, Bruce Wayne was his um protege. Was supposed yeah. to be a protege, you know what I'm saying? But he, he was like, "Oh no, we're nonviolent." Not no, you're a psychopath. You murdered Batman. Does murder people? He does. He's a killer. He is a killer. All of those so, fucking non-lethal shits that he be making and shit like that, they be killing people. I'm telling you, bro, that shit be killing you. You just hit this motherfucker upside the head with a fucking battering that's made out of titanium, and it's like I mean, <laughs> his batarangs be weighing up like two, two and a half pounds a piece. This shit just cracked this nigga's skull. Like, what are you talking about? He's leaking cerebral fluid. He's dying. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? You, uh... If you go, come on, Claudia, let's be real here. If you ever go on the DC site and look at some of the suits that Batman has, some of them, even though he says they're non-lethal, these shits are made to, like, punch 
punch walls down and punch like tempered steel doors down. Yeah, you remember the the the, the animated series Dark Knight where he was older? Yes. Fifties. What do you do? He was breaking people's arm. He dude, he broke those mutants down. Yeah. To the point where he didn't even care anymore. Joker was, killed, died. Yeah, like you, you, who was that? Commissioner Gordon. Commissioner Gordon goes around like he goes around and cleans up Batman's messes. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> They all know that they're dealing with a fucking psychopath here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you, you, all of y'all, all of no, it's nothing in Gotham. It's nobody in Gotham that's innocent. All of these motherfuckers is just nothing but psychopaths running around killing each other and fighting each other. That's it. It's all sickos and weirdos fighting each other. That's it and killing. That's it. Because you do know Gotham, like recently, Gotham is supposed to be New Jersey. You know that, right? Now it is. It's supposed to be. New Jersey. Gotham is supposed to be New Jersey. You didn't know that, Claudia? Gotham? No, I thought I, I always assumed Gotham was in New York. No, Gotham. I mean, everybody York. says that shit. People from Chicago say Chicago. People from New York nah. say it's New York. Nah, now nah, you say it's from New nah. Jersey. Everybody, everybody has it has the same thing. People from Detroit say it's Detroit. Oh, I'll show. You. I, will show you. I will show you proof. They just want to have something in Detroit. Located. They jealous. That's all. Metropolis. Uh. <laughs> Metropolis is supposed to be in Mich Michigan. I think. Metropolis is supposed to be Michigan. I think, yes. yeah, because it's supposed to. I, I'm, I'm, it's yeah, supposed Metropolis to be. is Flint, right? <laughs> it's Flint Town. <laughs> now, when I was reading New Fifty Two, they said the new. Uh, Superman. Okay, here we go. It's Gotham in New York and New Jersey. It's neither Gotham. Is, yeah, they said it's fictional, but when I was reading New Fifty Two, they said it was in New Jersey. Well, they based their architecture on some shit, man. You yeah. Know, if I remember reading correctly. So it's based on something. Like the architecture. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I will I would love to see a hush series of um Gotham. I would love to see a hush series. I absolutely love that series. I love you ever read the hush series before, um, Kenny? It's a good book. No, nah, man. Very good Can't book. Say I have. It's messed up, full of psycho. I'll have to check it out. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. It's one of the iconic stories. I got to be honest, Batman. man. Like, like the only Batman thing I think I ever read was when, uh, when Grendel fucked him up. And that was about it. <laughs> Grendel. <laughs> fucked him up twice. Two yeah. different Grendels fucked him up. Yeah. Grendel was my dude. Mm. Grendel was my dude. All right. Up next, we got Star Wars The Clone Wars and Iron Fist. Iron Fist, I have no interest in watching. Now, now that a new Terrible. season of The Clone Wars, the new season. The Clone Wars, I might watch that because I love classic Star Wars. I love the Star Wars prequels. A lot of people don't, but I love the Star Wars prequels. I, I, I never caught up with Clone Wars. I never did. Um, I saw the cartoon was, was pretty much interesting, but Clone Wars never got my attention. Star Wars, man. Yeah, you're talking about the... Um, but you know what? I had I gave it a chance. I gave the uh, Clone Wars the one where the people look like they're fucking animated and made out of wood. I gave it a chance, and I actually yeah like, the car the I, old cartoon right like no, the, the, the one came out in the early two thousands. Talk about the one with um that Gindy Tudatowski did the one who did Power yeah, Power. yeah 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 fire. I absolutely loved it. Loved it. I loved it. Cartoon Network one you talking about? No, like they all right, there's two. There's two. There's a there's a cartoon network one that Gindy Tartatoski did, the one who did Powerpuff Girls. That one is amazing. It was like a mini series. They have the yeah, other, that one was dope. Yeah, then they have the other one where it's like CGI, but the people look like they're made out of wood. That was the one I gave a oh, chance. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay. I gave it a chance and it's actually not bad. I gave that and um Star Wars Rebels a, a chance and it's actually not bad. I'm looking forward to the new season. I think the new season is season seven or season eight. Oh, wow, they're deep in. I yeah. don't know what they're gonna do. I hope they because remember they ended Clone Wars last season, they ended it abruptly, and they said it wasn't canon. Disney being Disney, oh, no, Disney's but, like the but now, I, well, just so are they bringing back the old Republic then so we can have like real movies? And not, yeah, exactly, exactly. Because, yeah, because what, what pissed me off with the old Republic when they took canon out of it, and um, I'm like, they can't really do that because. In uh, I don't know if you guys are Star Wars fans, but um, even in Episode Three, when they talked about not not Episode Three, when Episode One, when Darth Maul, when they talked about there was another Sith and whatnot, and they're like, well, I thought they were gone, and Yoda made reference to the Rule of Two, 
that's Darth Bane. That's Old Republic. Darth Bane right. started the rule of two because before that, Sith were just running amok, killing yes. each other, trying to be supreme. And, yes. and it was just causing too much chaos where Bane was like, no, he's going to change that. So it was only one master and one apprentice. And then the apprentice would overtake the master and then he would right. have that's what it was. So when you take away canon, you say it's not canon, then you, you can't bring Darth Bane's rule in one of the Clone Wars 3D animation and say that that's not canon. But now just the the theology of it is canon. That doesn't make any sense. It just, and then, and you know, uh, Commander Thrawn, Admiral Thrawn, he's not canon, but now he is. He can't be. He doesn't make any sense. He has to be canon because he's exactly. the one who trained. He trained Grand Moff Tarkin. Yes, I love him. So, out. I just don't know what their Disney just needs to stop, and yeah. Kathleen Kennedy needs to stop too. Yes, because she's ruining. She's ruining a multi-billion-dollar so, brand that you can't lose with. If you so just, I don't know what's going to happen with this one. I, I want to see what happens because Darth Maul needs to be a. I don't know what they're going to do with it. I'm hoping they keep it legit and whatever. Yeah, let's hope they do. Let's hope they do. Now, uh, what was that? The next one we're going to talk about is that new Iron Fist. They got a new season of Iron Fist, which I am uh, not watching. Garbage I, already. I, the choreography. Next topic. You already know it's going to be trash. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like it. I didn't like Defenders. I didn't like Iron Fist. I mean, th that stuff, like, I, I'm sorry. I just don't like it. I don't like it. Out of all the Netflix yeah. Marvel, um, Marvel adaptations that Netflix is like push out there, I think uh, the worst ones thus far are Iron Fist, mm -hmm. Defenders. I don't mm -hmm. really, you know what? I gave Jessica Jones a try, and it just didn't resonate with me. I didn't like it. It just she was probably the one closest what? to the book no. compared to compared to Iron Fist. Really? Iron, yeah, because if you watch the first series, it's um, it's really good. It's just that it's slow because it's yeah, that's it's like her was. book. You know, she's like that. But then it, it picks up a lot, and then the second season is really good. But Iron Fist, I don't know. I think Iron Fist didn't get a chance because of all the backlash, no. whitewashing. But they forgot he was white. Uh, and, no, I never. No, said he wasn't no. no the, the the problem is, man. It's it's they need to stop getting the old people in a park doing the choreography because it's just the worst <laughs> move, chewy, slow motion fight. They, they, they got, it's just awful fight scenes. It just makes me sick when I watch it every time. I agree completely. I agree completely. You said people in the park. <laughs> oh, I mean, I mean, come yeah, on. No, 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 tai Chi. They do Tai Chi in the park. Look at look at his fighting prowess when he's um, on the Netflix series. It's completely horrible. It's absolutely horrendous. It looks like a five year old trying to mimic his father that knows martial arts. Please, it's horrible. There's certain there, there's certain spots it, it, when you watch him fight. It looks like he's swim walking. It's just ridiculous looking. Man, he's to stop. And he's awkward. He's very I hate awkward. Watching. He doesn't have any. He flails. He doesn't have a fighter's build or anything like that. He he just. This looks awkward. It looks horrible. I'm like, I was looking at him when I saw that shit. I was like, oh my god, how the, you know Asian, woman, the Asian woman in there had better fighting he, skills than him. Mm. Okay. Um, he he's the uh, ultimate beta male. Just by looking at him. Jones, getting back to Jessica Jones is like. I, I kind of enjoyed it if they didn't make Jessica look like so much of a slut. Exactly. But <laughs> like, yeah, she wasn't. That. Almost, she's an alcoholic. She, yeah, she she's an alcoholic. Body. Yeah, but in the comic book, she's a lot. I don't remember in the books if she was like that. Yeah, me either. I don't remember. But, but she is an alcoholic. She does. Yeah, we know she's an alcoholic. She's, she's trying. She seems like she's trying hella hard, though. Like she's doing too much. Like she seemed like kind right. of person who wouldn't really drink, but then act like she's drunk already. Like, like I know it. You, right, stop right. It. you drank water. It doesn't seem like organic. Like, like <laughs> yeah, it's, like it's fake. Drinks. Like, cause she'll be like, huh, but her eyes don't look glassy. She don't got the mm -hmm. Dr. Seuss yeah. eyes. Yeah, like, but she can't get drunk though. <laughs> she can't really? get drunk. Though. Yeah, she can't because of her 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 abilities. Yeah. It's like you imagine Superman trying to get drunk, you know? It's but, hard. You know, speaking of which, not to change the subject, does anybody remember? I think it was Superman 2 where he turned into that bad Superman. He had like the five o'clock shadow and he was oh in the diner. <laughs> Superman 3, right? Was it 3 or 2? Oh, four, four, four. No. And no, I Superman 3. It, man. Superman 3. The, Superman 4, Superman the question for Yes, Superman 3. He started drinking. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, he was sitting there. Uh, he, he um he had sex with um Lex Luthor's um woman and stuff like that. No, <laughs> And look, he looked rough too. He had like a five o'clock shadow. He had dark circles on him. Yeah, guy. Superman was looking like he was falling on some hard I fucking time. It, it, though. I love to see dark side versions of my heroes and stuff like that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like an abusive dad. No bullshit. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. God bless Richard Pryor. He was in that movie too. Yeah. Because I think they exposed him to one of I forgot the storyline with that because it's been so long since I watched um the original. No, um, movie. I believe but in I think the they exposed line. him to some type of kryptonite and he turned into like an asshole because you, you know, know each the, kryptonite the, the, makes the, him do wait, something wait, or like you know alters the kryptonite had lead in it. The kryptonite yeah. had lead in it. That's how he turned back. Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> got lead poisoning. Yeah, it had lead. The kryptonite had lead in it. <laughs> and that's why he became that movie so was so bad. Looking. I don't know. Yeah, uh, the movie was horrible. God damn it. I enjoyed it. <laughs> well, moving right along. Moving right. You know what? Before we leave this topic, Iron Fish, yay or nay? No. No. Nah, hell no. Nah, me hell no. Me neither. Me neither. I don't no, see no, no. I don't see this. But you know what? You know what? I'm going to give like like you suggested it, Mika and Claudia. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna give Jessica Jones a try. I'm gonna watch yeah, it tonight. Give it a try. I mean, you'll like it. It's, it starts you know, off. I got time. Yeah, I got time. But the villain, I you'll get all sex. I got tired of seeing all the sex. I want to see some fighting, blow up, like tear up something or whatever the case may be. Well, it, it plays to fucking. Jessica Jones is fucking everybody. When you I see, know, that, that, I don't mind seeing that. But show me some violence in between. I don't want to be like, oh, okay, she's fucking again. Oh, okay. Like an hour later, oh, okay, she's fucking again. Show me, like, tear up some shit, fight, blow up some shit. Like, well, she does it in the second one, I mean, but in the first know, one, the, it kind of builds the, up to the, her. It, they're trying to show her character being damaged uh, because of that. I can't remember the name of the villain, that dude. He he really messed her up, and that's why she's all this way she is. But it makes sense, you know. But yeah, the second you know, season yeah, is and, really. And good. remember, like, um, Jessica Jones was Luke Cage's girlfriend at one time, so. But, yeah, they got that show as well. Well, in the comic book, this is how it turns out. This is how it turns out. Misty Knight ends up ends up um getting with Iron Fist, and Jessica Jones ends up staying with Luke Cage. They end up having a baby together, plain and simple. Yeah. And okay. um, Misty Knight thought she was pregnant, but it was some old bullshit. She wasn't pregnant. So I mean, like, yeah, it goes. That's how it goes. Misty Knight. Oh, what a liar! No, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, like, Misty Knight ends up with Iron Fist, and Luke Cage ends up having a baby with Jessica Jones. Wow. No, I, I said, well, I said, which one? You said she was false flagging a pregnancy. They should throw her ass in prison then. Yeah, they they pretty much like swiped it away. Then yeah, I don't know why they did it, but like they took it away. It was like, nah, you ain't pregnant. Um, I think it was some mm -hmm. scroll shit, some shit like that. I got to go back and read the book, but I remember it. I remember. No, that's, that's, no, that just sounds like some typical female shit to me. I've been pregnant, and you do all kinds of shit, and all of a sudden, no, oh, no, I'm not. What? Uh, it just sounds typical. You know what's funny? Talking about that. I'm sorry, but you remember um, Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah. When yes. when Jack Sparrow dumped that girl off in that uh, in, uh, in the island and gave her a gun with one bullet, and here, and she was doing all the. Well, stuff about hey, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I have your child. Uh, no, I don't remember. I was, oh, yeah. you were drunk. Remember? I was, I'm never too drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and she tried everything. He's like, oh, you know, I'm gonna have you do this. I'm gonna do this. Like, okay, but yeah, exactly, like that. You know, but anyway, uh, I, don't care. I don't care what nobody okay. says. I absolutely love J um, Johnny Depp as Jack Sparrow. I love when he gets drunk. He'd be like, oh. I don't remember. <laughs> I love him. I love him as Jack Sparrow. He's a scout. He, he has sex with all different women and stuff like that. He don't remember shit. He drink every fucking day. He get fucked up every day. Yeah, and all those love, women, 15 years Depp. later from now, they're going to come out and say, me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and if that if I oh, ever which, is, which, uh, which one Danae, Danae, yes. um not to get off topic and um everything um are you looking forward to seeing um Johnny Depp in the new Fantastic Beast movie? Yes, I love yes, that. I want to see that. Yeah, I love the I first one. I love the first one. I can't I love Johnny Depp. Yeah, I love, I love the first one. Absolutely love him. Absolutely love him. The mirror was good. No, was it the mirror? The mirror that he did in that movie in the woods? Yes. That was yeah. good. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
I think that's the mirror. It's called the mirror. No, I think it was um hold on. It wasn't the mirror. It was called what's the name? Oh uh, god, what's the name of that with Johnny Depp? I love I and you know, like him and um Tim Burton are like you know, like blood. Yeah, they they're, they're thick as Steve, man. Uh-huh. I absolutely love Johnny Depp. They, I mean, it, to me, he can do no wrong. He deserves to be able to drink every day and be a little angry and mean and stuff like that. Most people that have met him, they don't say that he was like he's a bad person. They just say like he just himself. Yeah, like I haven't heard anything bad about Johnny Depp either. Yeah, like you know, well, the woman that he was married to recently, she pretty much did it all over. Oh, we're not gonna talk about her. That's not a topic. We're not gonna talk about her because she is lying out her ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really um can't really recall the movie. I'll, I'll look for it while yeah. you do your thing. Yeah, but you know what? <clears throat> I love Johnny Depp. Definitely looking for uh, looking forward to the uh did you did anybody see the trailer for the new Fantastic Beast or no? Yeah, I did. Um, I no, I don't think that's out yet. I have it. It is out. It is out. The trailer's out, yeah. It is? Yeah. yeah. It is. Oh. I gotta see that then. Okay, here we go. Fantastic Beast. Fantastic Beast, official Comic Con. Here we go. One day ago from Warner Brothers. Hold on. I'm going to share this a little bit. All right, let me go to my screen. Yeah, because I haven't seen the arm till. Ooh. I love the first one. Absolutely love the first Fantastic Beast. And when I saw Johnny Depp in there, I was like, it's over. It's over. Unusual one. Secret window, by the way. Above yes, else. secret window. That was the name of it. Having to work in an office. Oh, I see a secret window. Secret window was good as fuck. That was a good yep, film. It was. That was a Stephen King movie. Mm-hmm. Oh. Absolutely love Johnny Depp. Mm. Love him. Love Jude Law too. Yeah. Oh, Lola Lestrange. That's right. Yeah, that's um Lenny Kravitz's daughter. Yeah, Zoe Kravitz. Mm -hmm. And and you know what? The story between them two, Newt and Lola, is very very complicated. Really? Yeah. Because um they was together at one time and. He still has love for Lola, but Lola's now married to his brother. Um, mm, 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 mm. Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah, there's some, some shit going on between them two. You know who Clint, Lenny Kravitz's mother and father are, right? His mother is, right? Of course. Oh. It's Lenny Kravitz and Denise Huxtable. That's not Lisa Bonet, it's Denise Huxtable. No, 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 Lenny Kravitz's mother. No, she is, right? Oh, Lenny Kravitz's mother? Yeah, that's from um, the Jefferson. Yeah. Roxy Roker. Roxy Roker and Cy Kravitz are his parents. Yep. Oh, I'm alive. Oh. <laughs> that scene was hot. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go see that. I gotta go see I that. I wanna see that too. I wanna I see that too. 
I want to see that too. That looks so interesting. Yeah. You ever see the first one? I saw, yeah, I saw the first one, of course. This one was good. First one was I'm a big good. fan of Harry Potter. Hmm. So next topic we're going to cover, that's if you guys still want to, still got some steam in you. If you don't, I understand. But the next topic we're going to cover, and maybe, Claudia, you can offer us insight into this, because I still, I still have a Nintendo Switch, but at the same token, I rarely play it because there's nothing on it that I really enjoy playing. You guys have a couple of games. Nintendo Switches are cracking, and they do not want to replace them. Whoa. Well, yep. They're randomly just cracking out of nowhere. Because and the thing about it is, I rarely use mine. Right? It sits over by my um, in my living room on the shelf because I I haven't found any games on it that I really the really batteries. Wait, 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 wait. You mean to tell me that the Nintendo Switch cracks and they have no intention on replacing it? Nope, not at all. Wow. And to repair it, it can run up to. $249 to $250. Damn, wow. man. Wow. I remember back when the Xbox was red ring and I ran through like four Xboxes of free replacements constantly. That's should be insane. doing something like that. That's insane. But why are they cracking like that, though? Um, they're overheating. The batteries are getting too hot when they you're done. Exactly. So they bulge up. I don't know if you've ever seen a laptop battery when it gets too hot. They bulge yeah. up. They puff up. Yeah. So what it does is um, the switch inside the switch, there's like a metal frame mm -hmm. underneath the plastic. So when it bulges up, it pushes the frame up, which causes the plastic to crack because it's, it has to give. Something has to give. And so that's what's causing it. It's the heat from the dock when it's been in the dock for too long. Right. And it's happening when it's in sleep mode because it's taking in the charge. It's kind and of if it's sleeping, it's still losing battery. It's still using power. It's kind of similar to what was happening with the Xboxes because the board would start to bend and the um what's the name the processor would get separated from the board and all that stuff from the and all that other shit. It was just like a whole bunch of like because I used to mod Xboxes, Xbox 360s and shit like that. And um, you would always see the heat like the heat after a while because the way the Xbox was created or like pretty much engineered, the heat would just literally literally warp the board work the motherboard and everything like that. So everything would just start separating. That's why sometimes you saw, they would like tell you like when you went to repair it or whatever, or like when people would send it to me to repair, you would have to use literal washers to hold the processor and everything in place. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy. But um, it says right here, and again, I'll share this with you guys so that that way you won't believe I'm making it up. Because a lot of people out there be like, oh, I never saw that before or this, that, and the other. But no, it is happening. And it says right here that, wow. Okay, check your Switch. Nintendo fans are reporting cracked consoles. Mm -hmm. The Nintendo Switch has been criticized in the past for some of its physical flaws, including the easily scratched screen and disconnecting controllers. Users are now reporting a problem that could be a little bit more serious, crack in the system itself. Nintendo Life's Damian McFerrin noticed it this week that his own Nintendo Switch, which which he has had since his launch last year, has developed small cracks along his top of the of his unit. They were primarily located in the small plastic bars running along the console's vents at the top, as well as next to the game card slot. Several Twitter users replied to McFerrin's initial report with the same issues. The majority of these also occurred on the top of the system, with one person adding that it eventually spread to the back of the case and required a repair under uh, required a repair under warranty. Despite the reports on Twitter, N Nintendo says the issue doesn't seem to be a trend, which they they're, lying. they're lying. Nintendo of America mm -hmm. has released the following statement. We have received, the, received a notable number of consumer inquiries on the topic, but as with all our products, we encourage users who experience any issues to visit, you know, support Nintendo or whatever, you know, Nintendo support for assistance from our consumer <laughs> support team in oh, short, wow yeah in short the problem isn't currently recognized as a known issue which isn't okay. a surprise nintendo wouldn't want That's to get users by, by overreacting to reports while the tweets were while the tweets have made the rounds the group reporting such problems is still small lie only time will tell if it becomes more <laughs> widespread all things considered, the current console generation has suffered from relatively few hardware issues. Xbox One, sys Xbox One systems has occasionally run into disk drive trouble, including one of our own. And originally, PlayStation 4 systems originally ejected disk due to the heat-sensitive touch buttons. Problems such as these are far less severe than those that plague 
the Microsoft 360, which had an unfortunate tendency to die after a couple of years. <laughs> so, yeah. Sony's PlayStation 3 had its console reliability issues, though it was much less. Hopefully the Switch won't become the exceptional to the generation of reliable consoles. Um, yeah. I, 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 like, I hope that you guys follow me on this, but like, I feel that with um, Nintendo not taking care of the issue at hand, which is like the screen's cracking and not looking at it as an issue, I, I think that that could limit sales on the Switch itself. Well, I mean, um, it really becomes a widespread, but it is widespread because now that article, this happened like a, like, I think this really occurred like a month ago, but like now more and more people have been, you know, like coming out because a lot of people was like, well, maybe it was because I was handling it wrong. No, now that they're seeing it, they're like, yo, like my shit has done the same thing too. It's like cracks in. I don't drop it. I don't nothing. You have no, some. No, but the fact that Nintendo is looking at it like, oh, like maybe that is something that you're doing. And maybe there's like other people that want to get the Nintendo Switch, but due to the fact that they're looking at something like this, like Nintendo's not taking care of the problem, like we don't want to invest in a Switch if something happens with it and y'all not going to do anything about it. So that's what I mean by it may affect sales on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, it may. It may. It may. But Nintendo has a very high following. I mean, their 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 fan base and customer base, like their their customers are very loyal. They're very very loyal, and they like um they make us they'll they'll make excuses for Nintendo. No bullshit. I've seen. Hey, okay, Audie, would you agree? You're a big Nintendo fan. You know, what I'm, I'm saying? not a big Nintendo fan, but but I I just I don't I don't know what to say. I have to be. I need a safe space on here because I don't want to say. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, you know, if people are watching, you know, I'm gonna call myself. Out. Um, I, I am, I'm. Wow, I don't know what to say. Hmm. Uh, I like modding. Mm -hmm. I like, I like modding. Let's Me too. That. Me and too. So I'm not a big Nintendo fan, but if I am able to do whatever I want, exactly, I like their products, mm -hmm. but. The Nintendo Switch is cheap as heck. It's probably yeah. cost them maybe fifty bucks to make. If that, the screen if is that. plastic. Exactly. That's why it scratches very easily. There's nothing durable about this product at all. Not at all. You can Not bend it with your hands. It's nothing. Like the cheapest, the cheapest Android tablet is better exactly. made than this. Exactly. Well, that's all I have to say. So, wow. So it's, wow. That's, that's the thing, because if you take it apart, like that's why you have to put like a tempered glass on top of it, uh, mm -hmm. screen protector, to only make it actually do that. Other than that, no, it's a cheap product, man. Very but cheap. For, for $350, yeah. but that's that's it, what it is, yeah. yeah. I mean, come on. The, 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 they, they released, they're more focused on fixing the the back the the hardware failure uh -huh. on this machine now because there's a 15 million machines out now and there's a Tegra the Tegra X1 is a CPU for it. Right. There's actually it's basically the CPU has, I guess on lay for layman's term, your house was built with no no way of putting a door. So right. I can do whatever I want whenever I walk by your house because nothing's gonna stop me. So you can actually mod it, and that's why you see hackers are just having a field day right now. You can put Linux on it. Yeah. And um, right now they're trying to fix that before they even take care of anything. But the battery issue, yeah, because it's so hot. It gets wow. hot. The Tegra X1 gets really, really hot. Yeah. It's a uh, – I don't know if you guys – it's a Maxwell CPU. If yeah. You guys know, yes. you know, no, I know what you're talking about. You know Maxwell I know. gets hot. Yes, it does. It really, really, in really. Fact, hot. In fact, that the Maxwell was the reason why a lot of people that were building rigs started switching to like the um cooling, like liquid cooling and stuff. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. and it, it overclocks so good too. Exactly, it does overclock. Pascal well. doesn't do that now. No, no. And I have a GTX 1080, and yeah, so every time I try to overclock, I have to overclock via uh, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you use MSI Afterburner. I don't know if you guys do overclocking and stuff. Yeah, like that. I do overclocking. Yeah, so F MSI Afterburner gives you these um, graphs. Mm -hmm. and you have to do it by you have to do it by fan algorithm instead of instead of frequency because it doesn't hold. It doesn't stick. Pascal oh, is is annoying. 
Yeah, because with the Pascal, you'll definitely hear like the ooh, you'll hear your PC just revving up like it's about to take off. And yeah, like <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, mine got 1080 Ti. Uh, my mine does that. Oh, so, oh my god, he ha- like, I don't know why he had to say 1080 Ti. Like, look, I'll be like, I'll be looking at. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kind of saying. Gotta, I know you throw just that let, in let there. People know that you got a 1080 Ti. Yeah, I got my uh. 1080 before the Ti came out. So I don't know why. Bragging right now. Oh man, uh. <laughs> he's bragging right now. But no, nah, ten eighty. Yeah. Uh. Well, I think, right. we probably, I think we covered the other two topics. What was that last uh-huh. week? The Mortal Kombat reboot that they're talking about. Yeah, we covered that. yeah, we covered that last mm. week. And um, did anybody? What do you guys have to say about the new Shira? If have you seen no. it? No, no, she looks like she. Lo- I'll, I'll, I'll say this: she no. she looks too much like Hank Venture. And here's a coincidence, man. Last week, the Venture Brothers actually aired an episode where Hank was hanging out with, you know, the, the Sphinx, the, uh, Commander Sphinx and all that, and he had he had cross dress in a battle suit. And I could have sworn he looked just like Shira is drawn now, but he had bigger titties. So she looks Shira really is like too, a boy. Shira I, is, 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 is really the definition of what they're really trying to push. They want average women to look like this. Is, it doesn't take away the long hair. It looks like a guy. Yeah, that's not even hair. That's like a cape Sailor on her Moon. head. It looks like awful. She it's looks like Sailor Moon. I'm sorry, I I am not a fan of the fuck new. And, 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 and you know what? It's it's I'm Noel. Not. And you know what? It, for all you, it's it's Noel Stevenson. And you know what she said? She said that Shira has this majority female cast. It's centered around a female hero. It's got rainbows and it's got robots. It's got everything I like in one place. Oh. No. Okay. Uh, that's exactly what she said. So she oh, this, this what? Not, that's a guy. Look at that. That's a dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's a dude. Yeah. That is not a woman. That's yeah, a like proper. The, 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 that's the, Hank Venture. That's a dude. That's, that's that. Venture Brothers, man. It's Hank Venture. I never knew she was exactly that. Hank. What the, fuck is that? They, they, the, the only thing that she's doing is she's keeping the story where she how she grew up and whatnot. But come on, man, that's no, she Shira. Shira. Edie Shira. 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 Scroll back, scroll back up. You see the old Shira? She she looks like an actual woman in the eighties. All because of them she has bosoms. Like women in the eighties. They don't want you to. They don't want to do none of that. They don't. Damn. Want she has bosoms. They don't want to do none of that. You can't do that. You can't do that. That's the big no. That's the big yeah, There's the giveaway. If you look at the sketch when she, when he's doing a sketch, it's, it's a damn boy with accessories added on. The basic framework of the character's <laughs> face is a male on a but, sketch. That's a boy. Yeah, like, like if you like, like man, a man, man, you know that is that's that's uh that's like Thailand version of uh, Shira. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the, 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 yeah, that's right. The boy, lady boy, the, the, lady, the, the, lady boy. boys. That's right. Well, honestly, mm-hmm. myself, I could care less. I'm gonna be honest with you because it doesn't. Uh, to, like, hear me out. Because I love the 2003, 2004 version of He Man, the 2000 X version. Oh my God, I love that cartoon. So I mean, like, Shira never was like a big issue with me anyway. So I could care less what they. That's did. not a girl, though. Stop saying. I she. know. I know. I mean, <laughs> Hira, Itra. Hira. Yeah, this, this looks awesome right here. This right here looks awesome. You know what I'm saying? Not a fan. Look at the sketch though. That's a boy. Look at that sketch though. That's a boy. The framework of it is a young man on, on, on this that looks, dude's sketch. This one looks pretty good right here. This is kind of like how the comic book is. Because that's what? not even real. That's, no, that's fan not art. how the comic yeah, book is going to look like, dude. You know, that's not how like the Netflix is going to look like. Yeah, you know, I, you know, I think it's annoying though is when you criticize this shit. Even if you really don't like it, just you say something negative about it, they start hitting you with, "Oh, you're this and you're that, blacky yeah, blue." It's, you're it's sexualizing. It, it is. Yeah, I, anybody I, who, who who dislikes yeah. it is a bigot. Yeah, it yeah. Is. It is. I, I'm a misogynist because I'm sexualizing a cartoon character. No, I, it's ridiculous. I just remember Shira from the '80s. What she looked like? Like I don't know who the fuck is this guy here. This is a dude. I don't care what anybody says. If Danae likes it, then, then, then... That's all you got to point out. Listen, listen. That, that, that's a fierce young I'll man. Show you, I'll show you the He-Man that I like right here, bro. This is the one I was digging, yo. This is... Oh, my God. There's a He-Man, too? Uh, this was... All you got to do... All you got to do is Google up Hank yeah, Venture man, and put... Dude. Put this Hank Venture man. right next to she man. They are the same person. He man looks I mean, like He man though. Why do Shira look like a fucking high school girl? Now this right here, 
this show was the truth, bro. This was good. I enjoyed every episode of it. I was sad. It's a dope see- version, oh. here, man. I was. I don't know why they want to make these women look like dudes now, or whatever. Because even the Hanna Barbera stuff, the women were legit. I don't know. Yeah. yeah I, don't know. I, I don't know what the fuck they call themselves doing now. I'm. I'm not feeling the new Shira. I'm did not. You like, did I you like this? Um, yeah. The new He Man that it came out um back in like 2003, 2004. Kenny, I loved it. I loved it. I thought it was. I- that was a great take on it. Even the figures were sculpted really nicely too. Yes, they were. Like, wasn't like, that the year they released the new Thundercats too? Back then, they went into the story of King Gray Skull and everything, like He Man's um Tila's um father and shit like that. Like that's mm-hmm. King that's King Gray Skull right there. They showed yeah, the skill towards face getting all melted off and everything. Exactly. It was it was clean. He looked like Oni. Shape melted off too. Yeah, mm-hmm. this was good. This was good. I really wish they could have keep running. They could have kept running this series. See, this is the way they're supposed to look. You know what I'm saying? Like barbarians and shit. Like yeah, that. She-Ra. Yeah, I'm okay exactly. with that. She-Ra. That She-Ra is legit. she They could have made her She-Ra Amazonian. I don't care. Whatever. But I think she, She-Ra was Amazonian. But no, come was, on, man. Was actually, such a boy. Stolen. You she know what? Okay. My yeah. whole the, the look or aesthetic I back in the day. It was like Simon Beasley or Frazetta art. Yes. To try to capture that yes. kind of. Yes. You know, so everybody had these muscular proportions. Females had gigantic thighs and titties because they're, you know, they're out there doing what the fuck they do. And males had huge muscles. I thought, look at toys. They're just roided the hell up. Said, hey, let's, let's make them look like you can beat everybody up. <laughs> so when you take these characters and you kind of weigh them up, you kind of make them look weird. Like you I, I know, mean, transgender Hank Venture over there. Do you there. guys remember remember the old MTV Aeon Flux? I love yeah. Aeon Flux. She yeah. didn't have that voluptuous yeah. body, but we knew she was a woman. Mm-hmm. She had that sex appeal. That oh my goodness, what's going on? Yo, Aeon Flux um was my show. I love the way they used to draw her very slim and look slow. at her. Yeah, but she still you knew she was a woman. Exactly. Dude. It was a very you mess it was up a, a very adult yeah. themed cartoon. That's why I loved it, and I loved that the stories were just so obscure and weird sometimes, but it worked. You know she what I'm saying? Died. And she would. She would die in like every episode for the most part, yeah, right? That's every little it. ten second episode she's killed. I was like, oh my goodness, you're gonna yeah. die now. It was yeah. great. This was but great. come on. I mean, no, man. Shira, no, I'm not watching that nonsense. No, I'm not watching Shira, sorry. Yeah, I don't I me and myself, I don't even care. I, I really don't care, but I think it's just funny. Exactly. I think the whole thing's funny if anything, though. I mean, just just the way they're going with it. Yeah. Care less, but it's just funny that Hmm, this looks like... Look at that. Dude, that's a boy, man. Looking at that picture makes me mad. That's a boy. Look wow, at that. She a, yeah. she, look, she, look at she got shorts under that. She got shorts on. Yes, exactly. That's a boy. <sighs> that's a boy. It's a trap. It's that's a trap. That's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> that's basically what it is. It's a trap. Don't fall for it. It's a trap. Man, I guarantee you them two lesbians, the cat lady and her. Oh, that's, my, you know, that is, that's um that's uh what's her name? The one of the Hordak ladies. Oh, no, uh, she looks like she's having good. emotional problems. Why you, yes. Girl, Catra, girl, girl, girl talk. Catra, yeah. They're talking about feelings. Catra. Catra. Is people why are they having like a girl to girl talk? See, I was never in the she All me, I see is characters I, who are I mean, honestly, I had got it when I was when I was young. I, by that time, when Shira was coming around, I was moving. I was moving off, moving on from um, what do you call that, He Man and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I started um, messing around with uh, Brave Star and shit like that. Like Brave Star, I started getting into that, and I started getting more into like I don't know what was coming out during that time, but I was outgrowing like uh, like I don't know. Once I saw He Man, just pretty much like venturing off. I got the Shira action figure because, like, she was like, you know, his sister. But I didn't get all the other action figures. I just wanted Shira so she could be like a female, like, to play with my He-Man figures and shit. But I didn't get the what's that the um, the, the castle that she had. I didn't get the horse or none of that shit. I didn't get none of that shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? if you did. Yeah, I ain't got none of that shit. Like even now, I still got Shira. I, still, I think I, I got a Shira, but you know what I'm saying? It ain't up. Nah, nah. 
Da. Da. But you know. Yeah. Huh? Yep. Where fuck spirit win. <laughs> yeah. yeah, um Swift win. Swift win. Wasn't his Swift name? Win. Yeah, Swift win. I I, I, I like the, I like the cartoon because of Lucky cuz I always been looking for him. Yeah, Lucky. Do you, you know what? If you read some of the new books, he um Hordak killed Lucky. He killed him. Nice. Yeah, listen, I'm telling nice. you. No, he, uh, all right, you know what? I'll bring this one thing. I'll, I'll pull up the page for you. Because I, I think I got the comic book sitting on my hard drive, too, because I bought it. Oh this my goodness, you know, hey, I got, I got, I, 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 hey, you know, I, I, I must, I must confess something. Anytime Quine getting like punched or kicked, I'm, I'm cloning and when, when he punched the camel. I saw a great movie on Netflix it's called Fit, a Broken Sword Hero. It's sourced from Thailand kickboxing champ. But anyway, he Muay Thai roundhouse kicks a horse in the face. So, yeah, I'm about that. <laughs> oh. Where was that issue? It was, um, what was it? Was it Master Universe versus DC? Where you see um, Hordak had fucking, he had, he had um, sucked the soul of um, Lucky. Like, you had to find him, but when you look through all the dead people, you saw Lucky there, like, just dead, like, sucked up and dried up and shit like that. Oh, that sucks. Damn. <laughs> like, oh, but, no, way um, to go. Anyways. <laughs> moving right along, this is the part of the show where we either take a break and um, whoever wants to stay for this, they can. But me and Kenny and whoever wants to, we're going to talk about some action figures from San Diego Comic-Con that we saw that I'm absolutely and like enthralled. I I want to stick around. Like I'll stick around for the toy talk or whatever because I definitely want to talk about the Golden Girls figures. Oh man, oh, I kind of like freaked out when you said that. But then you sent me the link. You sent me the link. No, go to it. Go to it. No, no, go to it. Go to it. All right. I'm crying over here. I saw them. I saw those. I wanted to. I'm going to point out some shit. Because I said I, I was going to. I wanted to stick save, around. I, I got. I, I was going to save my opinion for, for the show. I was going to mm-hmm. save my opinion for the show. So if you just click on the link and I'm going to show you. Because I'm like, I can't. I saw the action figures and I was like, I can't believe this shit. Yeah. So please. Show the wonderful people who are watching. Donate it to me. I'll, I mean, like I'll do. I'll do a review on them, but I ain't nah. I ain't. All right. So yeah. here's here's the oh, thing. Like I, when I, I saw the action figures, when I saw the action figures, um, Dorothy looks like Albus Dumbledore in the outfit she had on. <laughs> and and Sophia looks like the Incredible Shrinking Woman. And I was like, these things is not gonna fly. It looked like somebody just like made the clothes and just threw it on them. And they wanted a hundred. Walking them. Dollars, you see them? Walk by If I can get them cheap, I'm only gonna. I'm only gonna can so my Mike Tyson can be pulled. I can take pictures of them. I'll, 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 Mike I'll, Tyson I'll, right hooking one of them in the face. Right. I know. I know that they got the Funko Pops for them. The Golden Girls. I'm looking for those as well. Who's buying these, man? Oh, oh you're, you're buying them. I'm trying to find man, them. Man, should I start asking for obscure sick figures now? Wow, I didn't know they're doing that. Okay, can you guys... Uh, if I remember correctly, a, cu- a, a couple of years ago, somebody proposed a, a freaking Golden Girls Lego set. Yeah, it was like... Um, <laughs> and then they got shot. First. It was a yeah. joke first, and they actually like, decided to... like um. Do the Golden Girls. Can you guys see them or are you still seeing me? I'm still seeing you. All right, hold on. Let me see. What's going on here? They don't want me to show the Golden Girls. Yeah. Uh, Google. Cut right there when you do that. Yeah, look, look, look at this shit. Look, look at Dorothy. Look at Dorothy. Uh, look like she about to teach a lesson at Hogwarts and shit, man. I don't like how she looked. <laughs> <laughs> they really wow. Made- you know, what the, where do you get the that Taylor ring is awful. Good lord. <laughs> and why so is off? Why so is off? Oh, she looks like she's touring one of Ric Flair's entrance robes. <laughs> on the left. <laughs> Oh, poor Dorothy. Dorothy and Sophia got it the worst. Like, Rose and Blanche, they look okay, but Dorothy and Sophia, 
Sophia looked like she's shrinking. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> See, I didn't, Look at I didn't get close looking at bad. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, she looks all right. She looks man, all right. neck brace. What's what's so what's with her neck? She looks like it hurts. <laughs> I'm so confused. This picture. Oh, oh, why? Why did did Dorothy like that? Oh man. Yeah. Whoever. Dorothy lo- looks like someone who forgot who got hit by a car. He's faking an injury and got her a neck brace. It's awful. <laughs> Betty White looks, Look so- at her. looks okay. I like that. Thing. All right. Here's a, all right. Here's a question. Um. Would you have sex with Betty White? Yeah, my Mike Tyson toy is, is about to talk one. Right now, at her current state, in her prime when she was on his TV show. Really? I don't know. It, it Would was, you? I don't know. It depends on what mood I'm in. Like, I, if she catches me, like, <laughs> I'm in like, like, I'm in like nasty Nate mode. You know what I'm saying? I'm Denate. Like, if I'm Denate, she all right. But if I'm a nasty Nate mode, it's like, who knows what might happen. I'm like, you know what? You've been playing around since the yeah, but you, <laughs> yeah, but would you Yeah, but would you like would you make them cheeks oh, clap? You're gonna just yeah. feel them really good. You do know this woman, the one who played um the I think the oldest one on the um show, she actually wasn't that old. You know that. No, she you? wasn't. Estelle Getty wasn't that old. He was the youngest one out of all of them. Yep. He was actually the youngest one out of You're all kidding. of them. They would they would put makeup on her and stuff like that to make her look like that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And she, I think she died like a, like three or four years ago, wasn't it? No, Estelle Getty was gone. There's an old woman. This is crazy. Good Lord Almighty! It's just because I don't live. Like, like, I don't get yeah, real. real. I don't. I'm just. Yeah, and they got and they got like dustable clothes, like you can take off, like for real. You, you can you can really buy the Golden Girls and undress them. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> yeah, she died in 2008. Yeah, take her. 2008. Yeah, because yeah, Betty White's the only one living right now. Yeah, Betty White out living everybody, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, she sure is. Yeah, she sure is. <laughs> she definitely made that deal with Not his, she that made that deal with Hezer Hodden the Lonely, and he granted her eternal life. <laughs> What's he your favorite episode of Hezer Hodden? <laughs> yeah. The Golden Girl Sacrifice. Man, Betty White killed all the friends that live for. <laughs> what, yeah. What's 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 you guys' favorite episode from that show? The Golden Girls. I could. Hey, how much are they asking for them toys, man? Because let's see, let's those, see. those can't be expensive. I'm just saying. I think they're the more the price point of maybe like twenty, thirty dollars. Because, because no, because they got they got soft goods and shit, and you know, Mexico will rip you off over some soft goods. Like they'll charge you eighty percent cent. If these things are reaching eighty to ninety, that's ridiculous. Who wants in action figures? <laughs> how 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 interesting! Whoa, that's crazy, man. The Golden Girls action figures. Oh my god! Maybe like twenty, thirty dollars. Oh damn! This whole set. The whole set is a hundred and like one hundred and ten. I'm gonna say that's that. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's twenty, forty, sixty, eight. Yeah, it's around about like twenty, thirty dollars a figure. Yeah. Okay. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. But I mean, like, you no, nah, I ain't getting that shit. I'm sorry. And I, you know, I'll review a lot of stuff. Now, if somebody gives it to me, of course I'll review them. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, like, I, mean, I, I would have, I would have, I would have took some, hey, hey, Danae, sure. off of some of them outfits. Hmm. Since we, we review though, and well. you don't want them. If, hey, hey, hey Danae, I'll take them if you don't want the review copies, and I'll, I'll like pop Mortal Kombat blood. Head things on them and make it look like type, you know, all that deal. Oh, mm-hmm. they got Crash Bandicoot, though. Yeah, they got a lot of Crash Bandicoot figures coming out and stuff like that. I was, um, I'm, you know, I really should have went this year, but I had so much going on, I really couldn't like um take the time off and go. Is that is that a- in tour? What is that? Yeah, yeah, got, yeah it is. It's been tour too. Hold up, I'll show, I'll show you. Uh, where are we at? Ace Ventura action figure. Yep. Oh, that's the gave him fur. Look. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it he was horrible. Pigeon, parrot, and the monkey. I, I, th I think I'm good over there, too, man. It's just nothing I, I don't yeah, think I need. Well. I'm, gonna I'm not going to pick this up. No. Nope. Ace Ventura looks scary. I was never a fan of Ace Ventura, any, really. Like, not, not, not like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wasn't what yeah, I was. you're, uh, you're definitely catering to a specific niche for that thing, man. Yeah, like. Got a few fans who want it. Like, man, you I won't guess. see me pick this up, either. You won't see me pick up this God of War, either. I mean, like, I'm not, nope. Not digging it. Not digging it at all. I don't like the new God of War at all. Hmm. I don't like. I don't. Kratos. And you know the thing about it is, I was playing the game and I didn't want to finish it. I just had no interest in finishing it. I was streaming it live on television and I was just like, you know what? Forget it. I don't feel like doing it. I just stopped. Like if you look I, on the playlist here, uh, within the playlist on the channel, you'll see a God of War 2018, and I just stopped playing it. I mean, I think I was close to the end, but like I just was like, nope, I don't feel like it. It didn't. It didn't like grasp my attention like the original God of War series did. It just didn't. Mm -hmm. And everybody thinks it's innovative and right and shit like that, and it's not. It's actually just a combination of fucking Dark Souls and The Last of Us. Like it. Dark Souls, yeah. Yeah, it's not nothing different. It's nothing innovative. There's no there's limited character models on there. It's it's, it's garbage. It's garbage. In my in my opinion, some people that have never played God of War think it's the next best thing since Bread. But I mean, like, no. Nah. <laughs> Oh this man! Right here, now this I might pick up. This right here, the um, the Chucky two pack, I might pick that up because it comes with alternate heads and everything, shovels, oh. axes, guns, drinking bottles. You know what I'm saying? A turkey. Oh, good lord! Yeah, man, these guys look good right here. Oh god! It looks like a pretty dope sight. Yeah, that's NECA. That's that. These are the guys who made them. They they made this stuff right here. Okay. I mean, like you know, looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the owner of NECA called me scumbag, pretty much. Oh, what is Randy? Oh yeah. Well, I think yeah. about what the fuck you was asking. Because of my, uh, all I suggested was, I just said, how about a line of serial killers like like Ricky with made bag of goodies? Your mic is breaking up. And he really called bad. me a scumbag. Kenny, you're breaking up, bro. Let me unplug it. I'll unplug it. Okay, let's see. Now, this right here, I'm definitely getting this. I'm a big fan of Michael Myers. You know they're rebooting it, right? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Can't wait. They're, 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 they said that they're rebooting where they're eliminating every day. The, the sequel right. that they're making is going to follow up the first Halloween, where oh, every other Halloween. Yeah, every other Halloween after the first Halloween doesn't exist anymore. Good, good, because a lot of them were stupid. That's they're doing that for Halloween. they're doing that for RoboCop. They're doing that for Terminator, with the reboots. Good. Well, so I mean, everything after it, Judgment Day doesn't RoboCop. exist anymore. Uh, I mean, like if they can take it from part one and ignore that RoboCop that came out in like two thousand nine, two thousand ten. That's what they're doing. They're Hollywood do RoboCop. Yeah, look at this Michael Myers. You like it, Kenny? I like this Michael Myers, man. That's pretty dope. Was he coming with a big ass knife? I don't see yeah, the knife. Yeah, 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 there yeah. you go. Yeah. See, look at that. Now, here's a little trivia for you guys. Do you know that who, who's um whose face that is on that he wears as a mask? And it's Shatner. Yeah, it's William Shatner. And you know they have the mask. Yeah, the mask that Michael Myers wears is William Shatner. How it ended up happening is because they couldn't, they had to hurry up and get the movie out. They had the mask. The only thing that was laying around was a William Shatner mask. And they said, here, put this on. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, this is good on that wash on it. Yeah, me too. I like the wash too. The detail and wash on it is nice. Yeah, I'm I'm really digging this, so I'm definitely jumpsuit too. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. They really captured the essence of like Michael Myers, and they got the head cocked to the side and stuff like that. I like the head. Yeah, I like too. the victim head. I, mm -hmm. I buy just for the accessory yeah, head. The head. Yeah, he looked like he just poked it at random. At random, he just stabs it. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they. I like the details in the action figure. Yeah, it's very detailed. I like that. Now another thing, you know what? I think I hope they have it up here. They have um uh, let me see if they have it. 
What is that? Where is it at? Where is it at? Let's see. Action figures. Um, Dave in there. We got this one here. Gremlins. Like gremlins? Yeah. These are like, these are like G hey, yo, Kenny, these are like G1, like first generation gremlins. Huh? Those are clean. Yeah, they made it to where like. They skateboard and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They made it to where like you can, do like you can do like an army builder because they have different gremlins. Give me Gizmo. I'm happy. They got Gizmo up here somewhere. Oh, they do? Yeah, they got Gizmo up here. Hold on. Hey, look, yeah, that actual hair, too. That's a cool detail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. for, for someone's hair. Well, see, you got to understand, like we were talking about before, Kenny, they're stepping up the all these action figure and toy companies are stepping up their game as far as detail because these Asian companies, these Japanese and like foreign companies, they're making shit picture perfect. Or, like they're doing such great detail to where like um, you like, yo, like this is like crazy, like this, that and the other. And it's trying to make you you're literally forgetting about companies like Mattel, Hasbro and shit like that. So they're stepping up their game. Yeah. Like Kenny and I, we were up here. Um, he, you know, I've I've come across this stuff before, but Kenny was like, we were messaging messaging each other one day, and he was telling me like, look, man, um, Storm Collectibles is on the move like that. So I started looking at some of this stuff, and like the detail on it is absolutely amazing. With like well over like what would you say like sixteen points of articulation on it and stuff like that. Shit, I think you're going thirty plus, maybe. Yeah, over thirty. Yeah. Like tons of articulation, great head sculpts. I mean, amazing detail. You can't beat it. And they use it like good plastics. It's not like that like that dollar store plastic that Hasbro tried to get on no. at one point. You know what I mean? And yeah, they look like the the sprites off the the game. Right, right, right. Oh, she got. Me. Let's see. Uh, what's that? Now they got some predators right here. I think this is from the new movie. This predator here. Mm. Not sure. Yeah, this is from the new movie. I don't think you're gonna like it to like this um predator, Kenny. I really don't. It's not already. It's it's look it looks your mic is breaking up. Is it yeah. uh, I don't see it. All right, am I still breaking up here? No, it's a little bit better now. It's the most. Yeah, I think it looks too clean with the armor. It's, it's, yeah. it's too much of a straight looking design. Yeah, like, enough. they just have to have a little bit of grunge to them or like, you know, some wear on their armor. Something's just not right with this Predator. I don't know what it is. It, no, because no, Predator it, has a, a, a borderline tribal aesthetic it's missing. It doesn't have that. Right, right. There's no, there's um, no. Almost as good. Goals or nothing like little little bits and pieces dangling off them. Eh, I don't know. Maybe you know. I don't know. Maybe we'll know once the um once I see the figure in hand because it's been a lot of times like certain figures I was I didn't want to get into until I actually saw like the product in hand or I had the product in hand and I'd be like, oh wow, this shit is actually pretty. You know, that's <laughs> like the storm figures. Um, with the flower face, I, I don't like the design, but it's a solid figure. Yeah. Yep. Let me see. Um they have uh what was that? What was that? The other ones I saw were uh what's that? The uh it's Team Fortress. I'm not interested in that shit unless you want to see it, but like I'm not really interested in the Team Fortress figure. Uh, no. uh, I'm a this seven cartoony company, that's not really my yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, now this Jason right here. I just want to look at this real quick and see if they've made his shoulder spread a little bit bigger. Nah, it's the same body sculpt as before. All they did was just give it different heads, and different, different heads. Yeah, it's the yeah. same body sculpt as before. They need to make him a little bit more broader. Like you know what I'm saying? Like Jason Storm would do a tremendous chase with course, the big body of course, type. Of course. After we look at a couple of these junky figures, we're gonna move on over to um Storm and look at <laughs> look at this shit. No, these are good. You know, these are good for stripping off parts of my body. These are cool for that. No, some of them I actually like. Now, oh, now this right here, I'm definitely getting. 
this motherfucker right here, I'm definitely getting this. KKK Jason, Friday the 13th, part two, Jason. I'm going to get him. But I think he should be a little bit more muscular around the shoulders. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A little bit more broader around the shoulders. And again, maybe this is the prototype. You know, maybe the image is like stretched. God, he got wow. the mongoloid head. Oh, I see one. They want so to. It looks get, like you think a little, a little longer than it should be. Yeah. Yeah, he needs to be a little bit more bulky. I mean, do you think so or no? I think so. It needs to be wider. Yeah. Yeah. It looks. He looks too long for, for his side. Exactly. <laughs> mm. Now, right, see that right there when you see the picture of him with the pickaxe, you can see his proportions look kind of off. <laughs> mm. Okay. They got some nice weapons, and like at least they gave him a long knife, and they don't. Because remember, Neca was going getting real stingy with the with the um the length of the weapons. Like they need to be big weapons, if you ask me. Or like at least like look accurate to what a real you know. Because like with the machete that they gave him with the Jason that I purchased, it was like kind of like a stubby machete. Needed to be a bit more bigger, you know, a bit more larger or whatever for the figure. That one looks good. Yeah, this one looks good. I'm gonna definitely invest in Scale this. Scale it out. One looks real good. Right, right, right. Okay. Then we have, um, oh, we got some other predators right here, the Bad Bloods ones. The nets for crying out loud. That's my one gripe. The netting. Let's do a sculpt without the net still there. Yeah, that did, that always just, just paint them. It's always still there. Paint it. I actually like these for predators here, though. I don't think they're that bad. I, I mean, me myself, I like them. Yeah, I'm gonna get no. Guys. The the bodies are good. And I actually use one just to test paint on, just when I'm right. messing around. They're good for that, dude. Predators. Wow, this one isn't that like? Oh my God! Did the netting? That was good. Yeah. Yeah. This looked like a shredder predator or some shit like that. Look at him. Comics. He tracked down uh, the bad blood, and he ended up getting whooped on and killed. Or they're doing a new version of that. Yeah, where they, they actually paint the nets. Because again, they, I think for him, man, look, I, I like that. L look at them going back and painting the nets all of a sudden, saying, "Hey, we messed up. We're gonna paint up guy." Yeah. About well, time. The thing about it is, it's like if you go, <laughs> you go to their, long enough, man. You go to their Twitter. If you go to their Twitter and actually talk to them, they will straighten out things, or they will take things in consideration. Because they only, like, honestly, I... I oh, used to you mean the they'll do more than it. call me a scumbag, huh? Well, then you should... Look what the fuck you was asking for, bro. You tell them to make serial, like, real-life serial killers and shit, like... You know what I'm saying? Especially when you think you're in the market for serial killer kind of things. I have a Richard Klinsky shirt that says rest in peace and there's a market. Your bike is breaking up. So I think they're failing to... Hit a mark. Your mic is breaking up. All right. I just said there's a mark. Broke up again. Yeah, this joy is proving janky as hell, and I got a S9 Plus. I don't have any problems with, um, what's the name? When I, I love my S9. I like this one. This classic. I have um, an S9. Oh, no, I don't have an S9. My bad. Never mind. I'm, in, I'm behind the times. What you got? S8. Yeah, I have an S8 too. I have an S8. That's still a good phone. And a Note. No, but Kenny's got to have everything better than everybody else. Kenny's he does. And Kenny has. Now, you know what? I'm getting this Elder Predator. Hey, wait, is this one out already? Yeah, this one is out already. How did I miss this? I definitely want an Elder Predator. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed. Oh, it was clean. Helmet. I know this is probably off topic, but because the Predator was in Mortal Kombat, I'm shocked that it was no Mortal Kombat 11 news. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, same thing. And I, I know they're in the works; they're working on it. But yeah, because usually they'll show something. You know, Warner Brothers. I mean, and you know, what's his name? NetherRealm Games don't hold shit back. Now this right here, I got this, and I have to review this. 
I loved because I used to love playing this game. Remember this, Claude? The Alien versus is, Predator, Predator video game. Oh, yeah, yeah. They actually made a figure of this. Yeah, they made oh, it. It's a, it's a, it's a two that looked cool. With Dutch and uh, what's the name? The Ninja Girl. Yeah. <laughs> the Predators, the good guy Predators are there too. Oh, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. I see you. Yeah, I like it. They look just like the The net. It hurts. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah, oh, the nets. Get rid of them. Though. Yeah, this guy looks smooth, man. I I like how they get the Schwarzenegger face for him. Yeah. Yep. Mhm. Mm These guys are looking good right here. Crazy. Fuck, I close this out. Yeah. She got a big forehead, though. Yeah, I know. You you noticed that, too, right? I was like, uh-oh, that forehead. Yeah, yeah. Now, you know what I like that NECA's doing? They're actually taking into account of the, um, what do you call that? It's taking into account the, uh, what do you call that? The, the, the Kenner line that was out at one time. I absolutely love it. Hey, Apple Vipers, what's going on, bro? Good to see you. You know what? I'm not gonna. Um, we might be cutting this off soon because you know what? it's getting late. Man. And if you want to, Kenny, we'll come back tomorrow. You know what? Well, you know what? Let me. Let me sure. Play. No, we no, no. We have the games to do. Yeah. Well, you want to make that for tomorrow? Yeah, we should make the games I'm for down. tomorrow. Yeah, let's make. Let's, they got let's some make. good stuff. I'm looking forward to. Whatever you want to do. All right, so cool. This is what we'll do. Tomorrow we'll start off with the with the toy talk, and then we'll head on into the game because we definitely want to. I can spend an hour, I can spend at least a half hour to forty five minutes to an hour talking about storm collectibles. All right. So what we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna. Sure, we'll do that. No, anybody want to plug anything? You want people to know anything or advertise anything? Go right ahead. The floor is yours. Um. No, actually, just. Good night. <laughs> wow. Well, I wouldn't mind anybody checking out uh, the website to the graphic novel. Awesome. And I worked on like what ten years ago, I think. I, I, I think my years are off. Um, Kenny wasn't here when I talked about it, right? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Was not here. Infex, I N F E X. Mm -hmm. I worked on it in my house. Uh, went to um, San Diego Comic Con when it we were done with our version of the book, and then right. PCB Productions. I don't know if you guys know who PCB are. They do a lot of the sound productions for like your Call of Duties, um, for all your Call of Duty games. So all the sound production that's been top notch, they're the ones that do it. Right. They also did uh, some of the sound productions for The Shield. I don't know if you guys remember that show. Yeah, I remember The Shield. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, oh, that was my shit. Vic yeah, Man with yeah. the dirty cop. Yep. My, uh, my, yeah, my, my, one of my Schickless, favorites. Michael Schickless, bro. Yeah. And um, so they did the sound uh, production for that show, too. And um, so they pitched us. And they also had a graphic novel called Ascend that's sold very well. Right. They sold all three years of printing in, in like uh, one year. Mm. And so they took us on on our work they liked what we did so they decided to try us out by giving us their project which was called infex um and uh, it did very well too we had a lot of fans i didn't expect it to do very well and uh they're working on a we're work, we're trying to get contracts to do a trilogy but right now there's a it's a it's a visual novel now if you have an ipad a second generation ipad or and above right. you can actually get a you can actually check it out it's all voice actored from some of the guys from Aliens. Uh, I can't think of their names, man. But but infex.tv is the website for it. And you can check it out. There's old trailers of it on YouTube as well, Infex Graphic Novel, and you'll check it out. But um, yeah, so uh, it's a 300 plus page graphic novel. It's a, it's a, it's a horizontal book mm -hmm. in that tin cover, yeah. It's really, really cool. Awesome. Um, I don't even think you can find it anymore now. 
That is absolutely amazing. Nice. Um, what I have, I have, I have one. No, no. Leave me some links that I can link down if you don't mind. Yeah, I can, I can do that. Description of this video so people can go there and check it out. That would be absolutely amazing. That'd be great. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, wait, where do you want me to do it? Like, what the no, well, like after the show, what I'm going to do is oh. after, um, I'm going to link it down in the description below, or you can send it to me right now and I can put it in the chat section. You know what I'm saying? Either, either way, but I'm definitely going to link it up in there, like um, so that that way people can have exposure to your content. I would love to read that. I'm, as a matter of fact, when you send me the link to, if, like, when you send me the link after the show, I'm gonna like go on my tablet and read it. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, it's 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 um yeah, you just type. Yeah, it's really good. Um, I can't remember because it's been such a long time since I did that book. Right. Um. Wow. A long, long. Time. Thank you. So, any new books or anything you got in the works, like currently, or like anything? Well, I know you got something that you're working on now, which I can't wait for. But like, we have, yeah, we have our own stuff now that's getting a lot of. Um, we have our own stuff now that's getting a lot of attention because of Infects. Uh, right. For example, if you do see the book Infects, you're going to see because it came out before Prometheus. You'll see a lot of stuff in Prometheus. Right, because they had our book. Uh, he had our book on our, on his set, and he mm -hmm. was using referencing a lot of our stuff. That's why we were able to pick up a lot. So, like, hey, wait, we came out with that. That's in our book, mm -hmm. and so our book predates that. So that's pretty cool. Um, a lot of the sci-fi movies that came out started referencing our stuff, and we saw that. So uh, the other stuff that we're working on are really more of our stuff, but they're they're getting publicity because of like actors like Snipes and whatnot. Yes. Yeah, so so they like the stuff and we're working with a lot of other people like Zaria Dawson that wants to do something and whatever. Yeah, so we're, we're all talking. They liked our stuff at Comic Con. That is great. Yeah. So I mean, do you have any contact information that you want to give people that's placed they, in case they want to contact you pretty much uh, now or for the book, that's the challenging part because it's been out of print for almost five years now. Right. But they're trying to release that's why they did the digital graphic novel on the book on the, on the i on the iPad and you can get it on you can only get it on the iPad because it's such a huge uh, format. So you're better off getting it on the iPad if you really right. want to check it out because the books are more for collectors. They're gonna re-release it on a, as a collector's edition because it's all tin. It's a tin book. Right. And when you I have a copy of if if um if we link up in right. the real world, I can show you it. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. I gotta, what I'll do, I'll set up a little lunch date, me and you can sit down and chop it up. You know what I'm saying? And we're like, go over your content and we can like exchange. Yeah, you'll see it. It's, 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 it's some. Because it would be great on versus yeah. like in person. You know, me, I'm a hands on individual. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll let you see it. Yeah. So, I mean, like, you know, anybody else got anything you want to plug? What about your jujitsu um, school, um, Kenny? Anything you want to plug or no? Oh. Folks can order this over BJJ.com. Um, we did have a seminar on Mauricio Shogunhua for fans of the Pride FC days from Japan. That got scheduled, so that should come sometime soon. Be at the site. Um, if further, there are a bunch of people. I'm on my YouTube, you know, just on Fallout, just killing and massacring people, doing what I do. So that's. Okay. All right. So, what about you, um, Mika? Anything you want to plug? I mean, like, we had a great time at Game Crunch. I really oh, enjoyed gosh, it. Oh, yes, gosh. did. I had a great time at Game Crunch. I'm going to upload that video tomorrow. It's going to be like a okay, cool. of, like video and pictures and stuff like that. But um, we had a great time at the Microsoft Store. We received a lot of free items. I wanted to win that terabyte, that four terabyte hard drive. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like you saw when we didn't win what we wanted, we left like some niggas. We was we was itching, itching for that hard drive, yo. I wanted that. We was hard. itching for that shit. I wanted that. And, and some kid you know how to work a damn console wanted. I'm I want like, that. ain't this about a bitch? Mm -hmm. I swear this, this kid had to be about ten years old. Damn, <laughs> you, man, he wanted this shit. You could tell he that Four shit. Was the the drive. He got it. He went just like this. He was like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a, I know, like, like me, me, 
And yeah, we gotta ask his beating Tekken. I wish you were there, Kenny, because um, I don't know how to play Tekken. I've never played Tekken, and I got my ass kicked. In Tekken, but she did almost beat this dude up. And then the thing to add insult to injury, the kid gonna like clunk, like he beat her up, and he looked at me, he was like, "I just learned this game today." I was like, "Man," but yeah, we gotta, we gotta ask him in Tekken. I don't know how to play Tekken. Now, oh. now if it was Street Fighter, oh yeah, bah, 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 <laughs> but that Street Fighter we was playing, that was pretty dope. Oh, yeah, because I whooped your ass royally. You thought I was going to go easy on you because you was a girl? Bust your ass, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big screen and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it overall. I enjoyed the Street Fighter game. Tekken was pretty cool, too. But the chick that was doing um playing Eddie, yeah. she gave him a run for Oh, that's no skill then. Stop it. That, yeah. That's no skill. Eddie is cheap. Yeah. Well, my bottom line, she whooped his ass. Like that's all that matter. That, that's, that's that's pushing two buttons on me. Well, everyone knows if you pick Eddie, you, you're just pretty much cheating. Well, way, to, way to go. Well, it worked. It worked. I mean myself. I played yeah, away. Yeah. Play I don't play. The, I think like the um the chick that girl, that the girl, chick that I use. What's her name? Katarina. Dude, you should have you cool and just all day long. Yeah, I know, right? I use some chick by the name of Katarina, which is pretty cool, too, once I know how to use her, because I use the super out of nowhere, and I whip that dude's ass. Yeah. I don't know how I did it. Yeah, I don't hmm. know how to do supers or none of that junk. I don't know how to grab. I was just, like, you know, going from light, medium, heavy, light, medium, heavy, you know, keep nice. it, you know. I didn't know, I didn't know what I was doing. I, I've never played Tekken. Tekken? Tekken to me never grabbed like it never grabbed my attention. Like I'm more like uh I'm sure I just picked fighter. King and, and then and then did your thing, man. That's what I did. Yeah. There you go. I had so no much to fuck up. I had no Tekken, idea what I was doing. Yeah. And well, like, what, was that, what was that kid playing? Uh, what, character loved it. Playing? what character that kid was playing? Some black chick by the name of Master Raven. Yeah, Master Raven. Yeah. She had like, uh, I, use, I use her too. That's one of mine. Rip my yeah. ass. I'm like, yeah. yo, He's, I'm done. He 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 pushed it like <laughs> she, she almost had a um Mika almost had him at on um, one point, but he did some shit where he pushed her back, came pulled her back in and boo bat 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 and that was it. You know, like I like I came to lose, and that's exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, we had a great time at Game Crunch. I'm gonna grab we, it. And I got the, there. The, the, the tournament itself does have room for potential it once does. they get it more does. sponsors it does. involved. Once they get more game sponsors involved, like once they do, they it's got okay. themselves a real, real event on their hands. Um, I believe that more people would have came out if the storm wasn't happening. Yeah, that storm is what kept a lot. Coming out because like yeah. they were gonna rain and storm and shit like that. They were like, nah, man, we ain't doing this shit. Fuck that, nah. Well, but you know, other than that, you know, we had a great time there. Game Crunch. I'm going to get their information and contact them to see if they would yeah. like to uh, see if we can like plug them or like they would come on the show or whatever we can do to pretty much you know network with each other, help each other out. Mm -hmm. Anything you want to plug, um, Mika? I mean, any you doing any shows recently? You coming up with any? No, I'm not doing any shows right now because the show's on hiatus due to um site maintenance. But I will be back up in September. But for now, follow me on the gram, um, Pinky Tuscadero, P I N K I E T U S C A D E R O. Sorry if I'm a fast speller. I'm a spelling bee champ. So, well, what you'll do this time, you'll remember to give me your information so I can put it in the um in the comment section bottom down below the description down below so that that way people can click on and go find you sign up to you so on and so forth yes 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 um i most definitely will do that and i'm like anything that is happening i will definitely let you know um ah. i think like yeah like mm -hmm. i have to talk to you, like after we get off mm -hmm. the show cool, cool. So what we're gonna do here? We are going to any closing thoughts? Anybody? Anybody? You know, got anything? Need the last couple of things they want to say or get off their chest? Tell don't me see Kira. Don't see Titans. Mm. <laughs> you can't good. Nah, no, I'm I'm cool. Yeah, good. All right. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, that brings this episode to a close. We definitely had a great time. We had a great time with you guys showing up here. Thank and you for quote, having me. And the quote. 
for the evening or for the day is life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. Charles F. Swindle. All right. All right. So we close on that. Thank you for coming through. We had a great time. We enjoyed you. My neck is killing me. You have to understand I slept like a snail. I don't know what the hell happened, but my neck has been up for like uh, two days. So that's it. Let me know what you guys think of the show. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the You'll know when we are going live. And that is it. I don't know what else to say. I love you guys. Take care. Good night. Good night. All right. Good night.